Hello everyone, and welcome back to the most recent version or edition of Star Trek Adventures The Expanse, featuring a bunch of uh, people masquerading as Starfleet officers on board a Sutherland class USS Concordia in a area of space completely made up by the GM. If this can't get any more power gamey, we'll find out. So um, I do have one announcement. I will be taking next week off. That will be Friday the 9th for anyone, you know, all five of you watching live. Uh, you guys get that Friday night off to go watch, you know, better streamers. So. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> uh, what's, it's, what's an STA game without me crapping on myself? Anyways, other than that, um, we are going to go with the Chief Engineer's Log. So take it away, Lieutenant Commander Moose. Chief Engineer's Log, Julius Reinhardt. Date, August 7th, 2407. Well, the Concordia is doing rather well. A few hiccups here and there. Nothing that we can't handle, though. And while we're doing some tinkering, the ship is on a route to do some diplomatic stuff with the UK Emirates. And while that's being handled by the more diplomatic folks, such as the Captain and First Officer, I get to have some fun with a princess. Hopefully my wife's not going to be listening to this. It's not that type of fun, dear. We're going to be dealing with some ruins of Borg technology. We're going to be investigating it and uh, doing some analysis on it. From what I understand, the Borg were a nasty group of... Uh, individuals? Or, no, collective. We're going to make sure that their technology doesn't hurt anyone. Or it's not used to hurt anyone. It'd be interesting to see it up close, though. I have some ideas about probably an automated self-repair station. Hmm. End log. <laughs> All right. So, as mentioned, the USS Concordia is actually away for this particular session. And we will open up on the planet of Nihal. Uh, Planet of Nihal is located on the far end of, um, actually technically it's still outside the out, the Old K Emirates territory, uh, but uh, recently promote, recently accepted, recently promoted, something along those lines. Uh, Princess Sakina has decided to that uh, has decided that it is now within her circle, and as such has requested or ordered, depending on how diplomatic you wish to be, that Starfleet assist, since it's well known that Starfleet has had a lot more experience with the Borg, at least on the winning front. Uh, the planet itself is primarily desert, so it is class L, class M, very blurry line between the two. Um, pr primarily one large landmass, a uh, very high saline uh, sea, with a f and not much in the way of polar ice caps. Thin, ah, sorry, uh, thin lines of forest on the upper and or northern and southern equator, polar region. Anyways, uh, we zoom in and we see that the, that the Ulke are not the first, or the Ulke and the Borg are not the first civilizations here. Uh, there appears to have been a pre-warp civilization here at some point in the long distant past, roughly 18th century technology. Uh, they are, ju are judging from their ruins and a few of the desiccated uh, skeletons lying around. It appears that this that they were humanoid and rough tricorder readings from Lieutenant Ferliza and some of uh, Princess Sakina's uh, more scientifically minded harem um, base tell you that they appear to be roughly two to three thousand years old. Most likely the civilization perished when their climate uh, underwent a significant uh, climate shift. How that happened or why? Not sure. But anyways, uh, you guys have one runabout on the surface. They have two um, fairly large-ish uh, shuttlecraft landed on the surface. And in orbit is their um, lustrous class battlecruiser a.k.a. a pleasure yacht with a stupid amount of guns. Uh, Princess Sakina has made her presence known that A, you guys are outsiders, and as, par 
Uh, she has referred to you as Ifrit. Um, basically, those who are on loan to her circle and expected to do what she says. And she is stuck up royalty. So naturally, she has gotten you doing everything from running scans to replicating her water and meeting as you know as much resistance as you have chosen to give her doesn't it seems to fall on deaf ears uh, her quote unquote harem are have been far more um, likable and they just seem to be they just and uh, uh, unlike you the harem seem to have a better me or have a more influence on her but not by much anyways um, please take it away folks I hate sand. Gets coarse, gets all through you. No, no, not, not three making three that reference here. No. no. <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, and which, which, which one of these people is uh, the royalty in oh, terms I of the tokens it's, on the right? I think it's the one that doesn't that's, have a name. That's, that's, the one <laughs> that's the one whose name isn't showing up. Let me rectify that momentarily. Uh, let's see here. The longer I play, the more tokens I get in my bloody menus here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, the temperature I, sh I forgot to mention is a balmy 40 degrees Celsius, which I believe is about 130 degrees Celsius Fahrenheit, maybe 120. <gasps> oh. Either way, stupidly hot. Good. But it's a dry heat, uh, very dry. In fact, the uh, humidity is almost negligible. Which, aside from all the sand that's blown everywhere, has left a lot of the structures in good condition. Uh, it's not as bad. It's uh, 104 Fahrenheit. Oh, oh, okay then. So it's still pretty hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> all right, so if it's 40 Celsius out there, we're going to need to be in environmental suits. A few more degrees, and some of us humans. A little fat thing in our head start to melt. I spent some time in the in Death Valley, so I'll be fine. I'd have your little meaty things in your head have melted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just to be on the safe side, if we start exerting ourselves, we're going to increase our heat. I don't want any health complications arising, and I'm sure the good doctor doesn't want to be carrying any of you back to the shuttle. Right. If I need assistance, I'm sure you can help. But if you're the one that passes out, Lieutenant Commander, Reinhardt, I'm going to be in trouble. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I suggest we all put on our EVAs. Okay. All right. Yes, sir. EVAs it is. Not too long after you have um, engaged your EVAs and come out, your it's now a nice climate control, 23, 22 degrees uh, Celsius, which is about, I think, 78 to 80 something in Fahrenheit. I don't know. It's been a while since I've had to do temperature calculations. Uh, Princess Sakina, who is just had her uh, lavish tent set up um, takes up approximately the space of half a city block roughly one and a half stories tall and it has built in uh, uh, airflow N they un unlike you guys the UK are perfectly fine in this temperature uh, for Lisa you know that uh, they have a organ on the top of their heads which um, allows for very, very effective uh, heat dissipation. Fascinating. <laughs> Sakina strides. Uh, Sakina strides over, and uh, her two, uh, her two primary co uh, harem, Moriv and Uba, striding alongside her. Uh, Moriv is apparent. Uh, has decked himself up in a. Uh, car ah, he's decked himself up for combat. You can see he's carrying a heavy blade and a long rifle. Uba has uh, two daggers and a old style. It actually reads as a, a flintlock 
or not flintlock, but a solid shot pistol. Hmm. Interested weapons? Are we expecting to encounter hostilities? We're dealing with the Borg, Ifrit. They've been they have not been seen in this sector of space for some time, but I will in I am I am going to protect ah, my harem are here to protect me. Just in case. No. Very well. So who's our Borg specialist amongst us all? Um as everyone quickly goes to their character sheets. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I, I have me. <laughs> I have some focus in cybernetics, but that's the closest thing I really have. I mean, the, Borga... the only thing I've only thing I've got is science insight and <laughs> astrophysics. Dresden, we're using your activation. Oh, this is more like a question in character, like he was asking the play, like the characters. Ah, yes. <laughs> a specialty in harems, that's about it. My third wife, oh, she oh. liked that. Okay, this is an awkward way mission. Everyone's really quiet. Okay, princess, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Lead the way, Efrit. And she, uh, uh, she, has a, she pulls a small scepter uh, out from the back of her dress and points it towards the center of town where you can see the, the ruins of what was probably once a circular fortress or buttress or something along those lines. Uh, whatever was holding its uh, rocks together has long since dried out and crumbled, causing the walls to fall away. Okay. That, it's, this, is a, this is a where my... Or this is where the orbital scans indicate that there is a descent into the structure. Hmm. I'll pull Very out well. my tricorder and scan it. Let's make sure we have the proper gear to descend down. And who knows how to use a phaser rifle? More will raise his hand. Okay, just me. Good. Good talk, everyone. I got a bunch of nice silent folks with me tonight. One uh, of them... Before Lisa was just going to like point over to Ensign Moore, who still has his hand. Right? Give me security training. Well, trained on phaser rifles back at the academy. Okay, Moore. Uh, I've been known to go to the range a few times. Is Discord bugging out? Uh. It must be because I'm hearing everyone responding to you. Are you hearing people? I'm hearing no one. I'm here. I just hear you. Oh, oh, that's fun. Okay. Uh, I will reboot Discord because <laughs> I I just think no one's talking. <laughs> okay. okay, so I just thought it was great timing then when I made, mentioned the fourth wife and he just kind of skipped it. <laughs> I mean, it was timing, but apparently. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> uh, welcome back, Moose. Can you. you hear us? Hello, Moose. Bueller. Okay, I hear Froza. Yo, yo, yo. Bueller. Okay. More. <laughs> <Miss Adric. Bruce. laughs> okay, now GM, can you say something? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Is it just me now? Oh, <laughs> I, I, can, I can hear everyone now. Oh, yay. Okay, so this was an issue I used to have back in Arcadia. I would only hear one or two people. <sighs> Anyways, um, so to, <laughs> to replay the previous conversation there, uh, Moose, uh, both Moore and Dresden have claimed to have practiced with phaser rifles, but they're not that good. Okay. <laughs> I thought everyone was being and, quiet. I'm like, why no. is it quiet tonight? <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> and so, I still want to scan the, like, rocks to collapse and everything. Too. Of course. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> I was like, everyone stays shy. Why is everyone so quiet tonight? <laughs> because we are in awe of your presence. 
<laughs> oh, oh, don't stroke oh. the man's ego. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, let's get back on track. So, if Zach and Moore... Uh, Zach, could you do an insight engineering test? And Moore can do an insight science. Uh, this will be a difficulty one for each of you. Get some momentum going here. Insight science. Um... Any kind of my focuses in here work? I don't know. Let's see what sort of focuses you have. Um, Astromedic. So, oh, is it, man. Nice. <laughs> Physics, computers, sensor operation, operations, Bajoran culture, reverse engineering. Mm, Bajoran sensor, culture, definitely. Sen <laughs> sensor operations are probably would work well enough. Yay. Okay, so Zax adds two momentum, and Moore adds two momentum. Excellent. So we're at four? Yes, you are. Okay, Ooh. so the pair of you notice uh, your tricorders, now that you're on the surface, uh, indicate that the structure is actually quite cavernous. Mm, surface or uh, orbital scans from their less advanced sensors uh, indicated that this planet was or probably went through a volcanic phase at some point, leaving several large underground caves. And it appears that this city is built on one. Uh, Zach, you, or both of you notice that the cave drops, or the structure drops roughly 200 meters down. So it goes down a long ways. Uh, Zach, your engineering thing notices that there are several small, or several faint power signatures emanating from approximately 100 meters down. Uh, each one is not more powerful than, say, a car engine. Um, okay. Ensign Moore, uh, thankfully, you notice zero Borg life signs. Uh, actually, nothing on your tricorder pings as Borg, or at least active Borg. Uh, you are detecting several elements um, that are traditionally found within Borg structures, but a lot of it seems to be um, decayed or you know, inactive for long periods of time. Uh, there once appeared to have been a several a large elevator shaft, or no, there's still the shaft, but there's no elevator. In fact, now that you're all over top of it, let me just move you to the top of the hole. That's not ominous at all. No, not. <laughs> Uh, the, the the walls are ragged enough but due to time and age that you can walk down. There seem to be several gantry ways, uh, staircases built in case of elevator failure or to promote the construction of said elevator. And there seem to be several levels down below. Princess Sakina looks down, looks back at her harem, looks at you, and just sort of keeps looking at you, making ever increasingly uh, urge or aggravated gestures that one within Ulke culture would understand that why aren't you already heading down there in service of your princess? <laughs> but you are not. <laughs> uh, Sturdy enough? I mean, well, you said we could walk down, could, but yes. <laughs> is it like creaky like awesome squeaky sound effects and oh, absolutely. shakiness absolutely all right like i'll shrug and i'll like... start walking down the <laughs> do is there is there a dumb um dumb waiter system in here like in national treasure <laughs> <laughs> thank you for i'm just thinking national treasure too oh i haven't seen that movie in years and i want to again dang it nicholas so cage <laughs> uh... yeah i will and i now, will prepare I'll to go, go down naked. I'm going to make a supporting Moore. character that just uses a bad Nicolas Cage impression. Oh. <laughs> Moore will look, just look down. Uh, do we want to go get the repelling gear? Yeah, I want to grab um, uh, transport enhancers ah. for part of the gear, just okay. in case. That is a good idea. I, if, I have to, if I have to pay for it, I'll pay for it, whatever. <laughs> okay, I believe that is an... I get one point of threat for that, so I'm okay with yeah. that. Let's grab enhancers. Let's also make sure that um, we can rig up one of our tricars to do a constant proximity sweep. 
it'll start beeping if anything gets too near us. Okay. Uh, if you want to ch spend two momentum, uh, that can be an advantage. Yeah. Game over, man. Game over. <laughs> They're all around us. <laughs> uh, and you know what? How effective were compression rifles against the Borg? Um, if you... Uh, compression rifles could be adapted to... Um, it was, if I recall my books right, and that is a bit rusty, I believe it was the TR-116, the solid shot rifles, that were eventually deployed. Okay. The Borg still adapted, if... but it took a lot longer. But they were, were they ever able to adapt to projectile weapons, like, completely? You know, or is that what the TR I is? I don't think that ever came up. There's <laughs> never... In the, in the, yeah. in the movies it did, because... A guard shot the hell out of that one Borg. Yeah, but that was a new weapon that they hadn't adapted to at the time. There's no True. material that says that they can't. At least, uh, not that I'm aware of. Uh, so the way that I'm running it is, if you wish to bring along the TR-116 solid shots, um, which deal lethal damage and um, treat, them as, <laughs> treat them as phaser rifle threes, except they are... They lose non they lose non lethal and they gain vicious damage. Hmm. You know, I'll I'll stick with I'll just stick because I'll stick with my uh I have a type one and a type two on me. I'll just stick with those. All right. Okay. Okay. So repelling gear, uh, tricorder. Transport enhancers. Uh, anything else? Partridge in a pear tree. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, thanks mm. for reminding me. I will make sure that Primrose is, stays behind with the shuttle just in case. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I mean, it's not Pro exactly wrong. Microprobes. How big are they? I'm not entirely certain on that front, actually. That's a question I've never actually been asked or ever thought of, actually. Moose Maybe he's on Voyager. Of... Hmm. Let's see. Moose is thinking of the old days where they had to use buoys to uh, keep communications going. So he wants to use a microprobe to keep it stationary at the mouth, so we always have a connection to it. That's a half decent idea. Um, only reference I can find is that they were launched into micro wormholes, which were very small size. So I'm going to say that they will be. Large, um, it will require one person to carry them or carry it uncomfortably or two people to carry, to carry it comfortably. Yeah, Moose will carry it. <laughs> Not surprised. Okay, so you're going to set it up just at the top and set it up as a relay? Yeah. Okay, uh, control plus engineering, please. Uh, this will be difficulty of one. Uh, focus, jury rigging. Yeah, we'll, we'll run. We'll, 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 we will run with that. <laughs> okay, so that is one success and a complication. And you can just give that to you as a threat, right? Yes, you can. I, I'll, I'd, you know, mm, he could spawn Borg with it, but I'm curious about the complication. Uh huh. I am a man for chaos, so uh, I, you know I what? kind of agree. I think it'll be more fun. <laughs> yeah, that'll Especially be interesting. Especially since we're just starting. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take the complication. Okay. <laughs> All right, complication has been spent. Dun dun dun! You have prim, uh, Primrose back at the shuttle or back at the runabout. You are uh, just as planned. You hear Moose's voice over the. Uh, relay, it's coming through nice and clear. Alrighty. Alright, Zex. We'll uh, take point. Die. <laughs> okay, and you guys descend into the abyss. He had to phrase it that way. I just realized what he put in text chat. Activation level one. Ah. 
I mean, you know. Thanks for the threat. Or the complication, I should, should say. Anyways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you descend into the cavern. Uh, despite their... Uh, despite their disjointed nature, the stairs, platforms, etc. are still fairly sturdy. Uh, some of them can only hold one or two of you at a time. But you're able to mark out which ones those are fairly easily. And you point them to the princess in the rear, who just sort of nods silently. And as usual, she is flanked by Moriv and Uba. Uh, you make a series of disjointed jumps, minor repels, uh, minor grab thrusts, and eventually, approximately, oh, about... Uh, Let's say about 75 feet down, you'll find yourself down here. Anytime we're experimenting with a new flooring or a new piece of uh, ground we're not sure about, Moose is always using his right foot just to press on it. That's your augmentic one, isn't it? Uh, his prosthetic one, yeah. Yeah, ah, yes. Oh, right, augmentic is Warhammer. <laughs> yeah. Completely different system, exactly the same concept. <laughs> Except one probably doesn't have an imp uh, implanted heavy flamer. <laughs> yet. It can be arranged. <laughs> Depends on what you're talking about. Yeah. Hey <laughs> Where do you think my Type 2 store at? That's <laughs> uh, going to be one of those sessions, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. Okay. Uh, the light from the surface dwindles fairly quickly and there and is replaced by uh, ominously still glowing uh, light sources that emanate through uh, broken and rust broken and hollowed out sections of wall it appears that this was at one point a large it could have been a large mine with uh, in uh, with a good amount of uh, basic dwellings. You can see what used to be a ramshackle storefronts. What is interesting is that um, for Lisa Moore and Dresden probably noticed this more is that the desiccated skeletons are still in a position that indicates that they were all going about their regular their routines when they perished. Uh, you can see someone slumped over a uh, merchant stall holding a glass vial of something in its uh, long dis long disjointed skeletal fingers uh, a pair of or a pair of individuals nearby their clothes are still in almost pristine condition uh, although discolored by although slightly discolored by <coughs> years of sand and other dust moving around you hear coming from far below strange sound or strange sounds of machinery, uh, irregular, very weak, and from anyone's tr and specialist Zach's and Reinhardt, whatever sounds they're making is probably not intended. Far too much squealing, far too much um, uh, revving of engines, only for the revving to immediately sputter stop, wait, and restart. But As those, those yeah. sounds are happening, Moose is just tapping the side of his leg and then stops when the uh, revving picks up again and then when it stops, he starts counting down again. It sounds very irregular. Um, the pauses between vary anywhere between one to five seconds. And sometimes you think that it stopped entirely after 15 or so seconds, and then it starts again. Well, that sounds pleasant. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> uh, I'm going to walk over to one of the skeletons. Okay. And uh, wave for Lisa over. Okay. All right. 
Is there like a restaurant or a bar kind of set up? Uh, <laughs> it's not. Uh, even with the dialect that you're, or with the um, symbols that are unfamiliar to you and the Universal Translator yet, the uh, etched out sign of a glass with water in it is a universal symbol. So yes. I'm heading to the pub. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For you know scientific research. <laughs> More will just look over at here, Lisa. I'm curious to see if we can figure out how they perished. Whether it was something atmospheric, because it all looks too normal. Like something suddenly happened. Yeah, I I'd agree. And go pull out his medical tricorder and run a scan. All right. You look at that. I'm going to try to carbon date anything I find, like, in the dust around them. Be careful, just in case if it's anything biological, it could still be kicking around. Okay. Okay. Uh, For Lisa, insight plus medicine, difficulty of three. Okay. Um, And if you have anything on the lines of diagnosis or... um, What's the other one I'm looking for? Probably something along the lines of probably microbiology or vi- virology, something along those lines. Okay, I do not have either of those, which I'll have to fix whenever I can get enough milestones for a spotlight. All right. Insight medicine. Uh, I'll take a momentum for a third die. Okay. Well, he's doing that. Moore's going to see if he can, like, carbon date anything in the dust or um, find any, like, elements that are seem abnormal or compounds that seem abnormal in the um, sediment around everything. Okay. Who could... Um, oh, I was going to have him assist me in scanning the skeleton, but that works I have too. a one in medicine. I'm no good. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I do not have a focus here. Yeah. Okay. Well, one one zero. Oh well, hold. Okay. I need to I need to look at how a parent figure works really quick here. Thank I, you. I don't know if you can dad talk yourself, but I know I know Bahon. <laughs> um, is is he technically just assisting me with science, or is he doing a different fa- different task altogether? Uh, Moore's doing something different, so he's not assisting you. Okay, so parent figure cannot be activated then. Nope. Sorry. Or... Yeah, all good. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and Can then, I... oh, go ahead. I'm oh, sorry. I was going to ask, can I... Would you allow this to succeed at cost? Sure. Absolutely. I will take that threat. Okie dokie. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> uh, while he's doing that, Ensign Moore, uh, you're busy scraping around every... You're scraping around the dust and looking around the stalls and stuff. Um, you find something that is slightly distressing. Do I need to roll? No, you don't. Okay. Um, because you're going to find the following. Oh. Borg triple. Oh. <laughs> uh, lying, or what at first appears to be a stone head that has been discarded or just fallen off and rolled off into the dust uh, you find a rather distressing piece of technology uh, wrapped around a humanoid skull uh, all the Borg augmentics are still present but appear to be in poor condition that is terrifying that yes. is that is awesome though you will see you know, i would so have that on my end table <laughs> <laughs> that both that's both in character and in real life <laughs> as more realizes what it is or like turns and looks and realizes that he will physically jump and probably everyone will see it and we're we'll yeah. probably does he like pick up the skull or do you just find it Oh, I don't think he's picking that up. <laughs> oh, no, I find it and jump, because I was not expecting that. Oh, um... And there oh, might be oh. a little boyish squeal, which I am not oh, doing on stream. Oh, oh, oh. come on. <laughs> um... Everything okay? Uh, uh, I found I will something... Bury, 
I will very gingerly and like carefully pick up the head and just show it to Reinhardt. Oh, oh um, sorry, I got caught up in showing the uh, cool picture that I forgot to t- give you any information for Lisa. Um, yes, please. <laughs> sorry. Uh, what appears to have happened, and it is very, very difficult to determine for sure, given the age of it, and the fact that I'm only letting you succeed at cost, Sure, is that it appears that there has was uh, something, or it appears that they've all died very quickly of uh, some form of illness, most likely digging down, digging this deep down into the... Uh, ah, digging this far down into the planet's surface, they've uncovered some form of uh, microbio mi- or some sort of virus phage something that was very fast spreading and very fast acting. Well, we found this, and It appears that whoever died down here, they must have uncovered something. Because it looks like there's a virus, fungus, something that acted very quickly in killing them. Okay. Uh, Moose is going to look towards the, uh, the princess and her group. Are they in EVA suits? Uh, they are not. All right. I'm glad we are. Uh, Moose is just going to walk over to them and like, Hey, they're, I doubt it's still around, but just in case there is, or there was, something biological that killed off everyone here. We should be fine. I'm concerned about you three. Princess Sakina... Uh, looks passively at you before turning around to her two concubines or harem and quickly discussing possible uh, measures Marive and Uba both have seemed to have planned for this and somehow out of, out of her tight fitting garments uh, Uba pulls out two respirator style masks wraps one around her mask and then uh, sort of embraces the princess while attaching one to hers. Marive uh, brings out a f- full facial mask. Uh, princess uh, Sakina turns to her, um, turns to Uba and says, please tell the Efreet that I am most gracious for their assistance. To which Uba takes two step forward. The princess thanks you for your insights, Efreet. I do too. And she bows low. Excellent. If we let you know of any situations, um, if we can encounter anything hostile, we'll provide as much cover for you and the princess to fall back before we join you. Okay? Just keep your eyes open. There's a bit of a pause as a Sakina looks moderately perturbed and she taps her wrist again trying to access or trying to contact her ship it seems or she she speaks loud sure she speaks to a Morive, although it's obvious that she intends to capture you in her or it me yeah it's obvious through her speech that she, speech ah, that, 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 that. it is obvious how she speaks that she intends for you to hear it as well. Marive, I seem to have lost contact with my ship. Do something about this. Yes, Highness. He pulls out a primitive tricorder and quickly looks to you to uh, you guys. I am unable to pierce the surface anymore. It appears an energy field has activated. Oh, great. Um, Reinhardt to Primrose. Primrose, you're on the surface, and you receive this. This garden can hear you. Can you do a scan of the area and see what's going on with communications, please? I will attempt to do so. Okay, uh, so Primrose, if you could please do me a control science. 
And okay. if someone wants to pick up the roundabout, uh, that, that can assist with sensors plus science. And this Let's is going see. to be a difficulty of zero. And with uh, Primrose's activation, I'll give her sensor operations as a focus. Awesome. And I can get the ship if no one else would like. Wants it. Sure. Okay. There's that two successes. Two successes from Schmidt. All right. Well, it's sensor science. Sensor science. Yes, please. <clears throat> Nothing from the ship, but two from that, so two momentum. Well, it's not hard to figure out. Uh, several uh, long buried emitters have gone online, uh, located at certain at several points outside the camp. They are bringing up a very powerful shield of some form or another uh, that is blocking all communications to orbit. Am I? Uh, do I get a, oh wait, no, because I'm not the science officer, so I don't no. get a free question. You're not. Um, I'll spend a momentum to ask a question, though. Okay. Uh, is this, uh, this might be a dumb question, but I'm going to ask anyway. Is this Borg technology? I probably should have given that to you, but yes. Um, yes, this is Borg technology, and I will give you a little piece of extra information, because that was pretty much sure. me. Uh, you are detecting the source of said power. Uh, or the source or the power source to this, which is approximately 200 meters away from the away team, roughly on their same level. Well, um, this garden has found, from what you have told me, Borg technology blocking communications. It's 200 meters from your position uh same elevation understood keep the communication lines open and we will let you know if anything develops further will do princess harem um we'll keep you apprised but we're going to investigate what this possible energy source could be yes yes you do that Boost is just going to walk back to their, everyone else. I think, like, okay, huddle up. So, with the facility, or whatever this is, it seems to be activating. A shield has gone up and it's Borg. We got possible source 200 meters in one of these directions here. Well, okay. the best thing would probably be to see what we can do to either deactivate or neutralize the signals that are going out from these emitters. That's the idea. Maybe we can find it's maybe some power junction that we can just deactivate. Uh, the brief package I read about the Borg is it was decently detailed, but when they're in their little cubicles, cubbies, alcoves, alcoves they are indistinguishable from the technology around them. I want you guys to keep an active sweep on life signs. I can do that. Of course. Zax, you take up the rear, I'll take point, and then we'll move forward in. If anything happens to me, you are all to fall back. <clears throat> okay. Follow, uh, following the signs... I forgot. Uh, Zach, uh, you find the bar. The... Yeah, <laughs> that's what I I, I, I was muted. Yeah. I would just go, I come out from the pub with yeah. the clinking backpack and like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yep, you find the bar. Uh, you have, they have several sealed things of probably alcohol, although its quality is so poor that even, even sealed, you can feel that they're probably going to explode. So but, I'll take a couple things, throw in the backpack, and okay. for yeah. for science. Yeah, for science, okay, that'll be fun. No, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, following this, fo ah, following the coordinates sent down to you by Primrose, 
you come to what was at one point probably a ancient where or an old warehouse or um, storage shed of storage yard of some sort. Uh, it, the sound ah the signal is coming from inside. Uh, sadly, also your proximity uh, things begin to ping as you get closer, and you see as the ah, as the shadows or as you um shine some lights around to uh, clear some shadows. Uh, you see something that oh you see one of these just standing motionless by the door. It is pretty much a steampunk style Borg. Uh, you know how next how the Borg technology from next generation ch to Voyager changed a lot in their aesthetic. This is primitive to that. This is even more primitive than TNG style. So are we, are we looking at to make a very probably poor comparison? You know how the Cybermen looked in like the original version they were in in Doctor Who barely but yeah is it kind of like that <laughs> similar enough i mean it's very obvious that the uh organic part of the borg is long dead uh okay a lifeless eye its jaw locked in a rictus grin of sorts uh it appears to have been kept upright only by the metallic portions of its body and those are far more ancient and primitive than even TNG Borg were. Gotcha. I'm going to scan it and see if I can find how old it is. Okay. Uh, insight plus medicine, please. Or control. Oh, oh nope, boy. control. Insight, control. Insight, medicine, please. To say either way, I'm shooting yeah. for an 11. Um, sensor operations. Uh, I'd prefer if you had <laughs> biology, but no, and physics. I think I'll. <laughs> nah, none of those will work. Could, could, could I, I assist it. him? Could I, I assist him in, Could I assist him? Because I have, if either of these work, I have cybernetics and xenobiology as focuses. I think cybernetics would work. Yeah. Could I per try to persuade you on reverse engineering? I mean, you're not trying to build a Borg. No, but I am trying to date how old it is. Oh, fine. <laughs> no, but you, you just came up with the Borg man. Yep. <laughs> or you oh, go into the or you go into the mall to, to the local build a Borg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, so... I was kind of laughing when he said, "Like, I'm not. You're not trying to build a Borg." But he goes, "Well, I'm trying to date," and he kind of cut off. <laughs> 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 I mean, hey, so, um, so what? I'm sorry, what is this task for me in terms of uh, attributes and discipline? Insight medicine and cybernetics. Okay. What's the difficulty? Because I uh, got diff one. Difficulty two. Actually, right. no, so difficulty can... one because you already have a good idea of the stuff you're dealing with. Okay. Two successes, one momentum. Huzzah. Uh, so this Bor the Borg's organic half matches the biology of the local uh, life forms. And rough dating would place it about, uh, yeah, carbon dating would place it about a thousand years old or so. More will speak, uh, uh, speak up. Seems like it's about a thousand years old, but it is matching the local um, biology of the inhabitants that we found. Hmm. Right. Which, to my knowledge, just predates anything we've ever found, Borg. So something, whatever they were digging, managed to kill off the biological sides of them. Wait, do their deaths line up with the bodies we found before? Uh, not quite. Um, their bo the organic bodies that you found appear to have died off about two millennia back. Which... Yeah, sorry, I'm getting my timeline mixed up. This body is roughly the same age. Um, the but cybernetics part is, the cybernetics part is more interesting. Um, for Lisa, you would get this more than more at the moment. Is that, dis um, despite the primitive-looking technology on the quote-unquote 
Borg drone. Um, it appears to have been worked with some fairly advanced uh, processes that were not native to this planet. Uh, you see evidences of uh, very primitive uh, CPU and control chips, um, old uh, circuit boards, that sort of stuff. Huh. <clears throat> it's more of a robot with a fleshy frame than an actual uh, cyborg. But uh, but they both seem to have died around the same time. Whatever this event happened, seemingly it's more difficult to get a proper reading of the or of the metallic component, given that it isn't carbon. But okay, yeah. it still seems to predate what we know of how old the Borg is, doesn't it? Yeah, there are questions. Hopefully, the GM has answers. <laughs> I hope the GM has answers because I want to hear them too. <laughs> um, looks dead. Zach's dead, so it must be dead. I'm going to get closer to it. Okay. Uh, you get up nice and close to it. Um, it is about as dead as any statue found in any city uh, municipal garden about as functional too not as pretty but is the microprobe still on my back i thought you left the microprobe up at the top or you okay can... you mentioned that i was uh, carrying it for a so... bit so i was like okay i i that was for flavor primarily but yeah. okay okay good just want just wanted to make sure mm -hmm. okay um there's no power sign to it. I'm going to scan it with my tricorder. Okay. Uh, you don't. You'd find no no act. Ah, you find what appears to be a very primitive um, lead zinc battery, but its charge is long drained. All right. All right. We can stop looking at it now. We're going to keep going in. And uh, I'll head on deeper in. Okay. So, I'll be checking my corners as I go through any doorways. All right, so... I'll be constantly scanning. <clears throat> so, I hope that this all will work well. This is my first attempt with the dynamic lighting. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so you are all here. This is hopefully going to function. You should all see your characters in the upper left portion of the map. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Uh, the doorway is uh, the doorway into this area is long since rusted shut. Uh, thankfully, due to poor construction, uh, a few nearby wall sections have caved in. Uh, you use that as your main way in. Uh, inside. What light there was, or what little ambient light there was from the outside vanishes almost immediately. Uh, you are stuck using your tricorders and your stab lights to see. Oh no, we have EVA suits on. Oh, okay, helmet your, lights. your EVA helmet lights to see. Sorry. <clears throat> and you are here. Um, the source of the communications is coming all the way near the south of the map. Uh, there appears to be two separate powers, or there appears to be two separate sources. Probably a primary and a secondary. Okay. Hmm. We're going to stay grouped, no separating. Don't have to tell me. That's, that seems <laughs> smart. I What's the matter, Mr. Moose? You don't want to split the party. I just don't want to punch a punchy Borg Zack, that's all. Break my heart. Resistance is futile. I don't know that it would break his. Not, not a funny joke at the moment, Specialist. Hey, uh, sir. I'm going to go up to this door here and just uh, attempt to open. Okay. Most of the doors don't actually exist. They are simple 
uh, hatchways. And if there are doors, they swing open or are on uh, very, very stiff hinges, but will still swing open fairly easily. Alright, I'll poke my head on in. Alright. Oh. Oh. So, I'm not entire. So, stream is... I don't think I have vision set up quite right so that the entire party can see what party members see, so... What you could do, I think, is make a token, um... Like... A second window that's the player and then get assign a token to yourself and join back as a player on a separate window okay. and then have that token just sit on one of us i will investigate that during break time yeah. <clears throat> so i'm poking my head in and i see something i see more trying to get past me i'm right. just like nope <laughs> <laughs> instantly get yanked back <laughs> when curiosity kills the cat. <laughs> when curiosity kills the ensign. <laughs> did we bring? Did we bring her down? <laughs> I'm just looking at what I see. Does it do anything? Uh, it or what you do see is a next generation style Borg that is apparently still active. It is appar uh, attempting to uh, use a, a a welding torch. To re to uh yeah, to reseal a couple wires, who are so old and corroded that it is nigh impossible to actually save them. But that's not stopping this Borg. Hmm. Okay. Ah, I hope. Primrose, if you're still there, we just encountered a Borg. And at, in my time serving, I probably know of the Borg, but I don't have a lot of information on them, correct? Uh, correct. The uh, Because the Borg never viewed the Togelau as a... actually identified it as a proper species, it, both species pretty much just coexisted, ignoring one another. So, okay. Yeah. Basically, it was like an, you know, I don't kill you, you don't kill me kind of situation. It's like... Sort of. You weren't worth the effort. It's like, we we do not recognize Aww. you as a, as a sentient life form, therefore, yeah. You they, don't matter. Yeah, they basically thought that you were just f fungal spores and nothing of interest. Right, because until Fair. we started screwing with them, like, they didn't have, like, physical bodies. This, yeah. <laughs> this garden does not know much of the Borg, but I can assume that's not good. Correct. If you can, try and work on bypassing whatever dampening field they're using to get a signal out. Keep it I'll simple. Do... Keep it just, have it say Borg encountered. I thought all okay. the Borg had pretty much gone away. Yes, uh... that is the that is what Starfleet believes, too. Well, um, there's the ones that have been freed that are, yeah. I believe, still living in the Transwarp hub. Well, that's true, but they have no connection to a collective. They're individuals. This is true. Um, hmm. Well, I'm going to take a little step further, and I'm going to through the headset to do, or the, um, the helmet to do, like, you know, the suit speaker. Mm -hmm. Hello! Hmm. Uh, roll presence plus command, please. Uh, this will be a difficulty of one. Uh, okay. Uh, full body workout as a focus? I could just flex at him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. oh. <laughs> uh, that will work only if you give me your best Johnny Bravo impersonation. <laughs> I haven't seen that show in such a long time. I don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Oh, one, two, three. Oh. Okay. Since I rolled a complication, I allow. Uh, I will not let you take it as threat. Oh, Make a complication. Okay. <clears throat> 
So the complication. <laughs> if you want. <laughs> yes. Hmm. The complication is this one steps out. It uh, scans you up and down with its uh, ocular eyepiece. Non Borg detected organics technological ah, technological advancement yes A attempting to access remote systems and what it is going to do is it is going to attempt to hack your suit Let's do this plus this. One degree of success. No, it needed two. <clears throat> uh, so, Reinhardt, your suit's uh, built-in electronics warfare package kicks in, detects in or detects it, ah, detects intruder protocols, and and actually locks your suit down until you are able to uh, get yourself going again. So your suit has locked you in place until the intruder protocols can be reversed. Which is so it succeeded so succeed the hack? No, it failed. This is just the complication being funny. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, okay. And what you notice is it turns on its heels and begins to walk away. The other drone okay. in the area takes... If it notices its presence, it pays it no heed. I don't know if they're the Borg, considering I'm still here, or if they're confused on what's happened. I'm just like trying to wiggle out of my suit, and I'm like, Zach! I get over here. Reset my suit, please. Uh, Zach, Ready. Uh, control engineering difficulty one, please. Okay. I'll get out of Zach's way. <laughs> ah, you better. <laughs> oh, come on. Why are you froze? Control. I don't think flight control systems jerry-rigging <laughs> oh, jerry-rigging could be fun well that's uh, three successes so two momentum nice alright uh, Reinhardt, you, now that you're this far below ground, the temperature is now a balmy, oh, I don't know, 31 degrees. Not too terrible. Nowhere as lethal. But your suit is once again functional. Okay. Anyone have ideas? Should we keep trying to talk with them or um, reintroduce them to the advancements of the Federation? Well, the thing is with the Borg... If they don't see you as a threat, they won't bother you. So I think we're safe to walk past for now. But I'd keep an eye on your arse. I certainly wouldn't mind trying to talk to them, but whether or not they'll listen to what any of us have to say is a completely different story. Well, I'm just not sure if they're going to hear me stories, but I've talked to them. We're in a decent enough spot to do a choke. So if they start coming after us, there's only so many of them that get through. And we have the advantage of running back out, so... Now that we're down here, can I do a tricorder scan and see, like, if I can see how many or how many signals or whatnot? Um, that's probably more of a life sign check, but... Okay. Yep. Uh, so if you want to do a life sign check, that's going to be Insight Medicine. Uh, given the next, given whereabouts you are and the interference generated by the po uh, power 
This is going to be a difficulty of two. <laughs> I doubt that's even going to work for me, but we'll give it a shot. Well, you know, you could ask your, you know, resident medical officer. Right. I think Dresden has decent medicine, too, so... Oh, no, I, I could... got a, a medicine at one. Ah, never mind. I could, I could certainly assist you, specialist. Or you could do it, and I'll assist you, laddie. <laughs> I... I mean, that perfectly works for me as well. <laughs> and this was, was it reason uh, medicine or insight in... medicine? Ah, yes. Insight. Difficult. Uh, okay. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, let's see. Looking at focuses, probably none of them. Uh, the ones I can think of cybernetics, uh, cybernetics and xenobiology, the only ones that would probably give me any hope here. <laughs> Given the nature of these things, I will let cybernetics work. Huzzah! Mr. Zax gets you one. And you said it was difficulty two? Correct. Okay, I should be fine. You are indeed fine. <clears throat> so, um, only proper Borg are showing up, so Zomborgs are not as easily found, considering they're primitive nature, but you find one, two, three... Did anyone else notice that word he just used? Is that <laughs> Borgs? Yeah. I had to call... Mm. I'm calling them something slightly different just because well, they are slightly different. But yes. Uh, I believe if my token counting is right, you count seven. There are seven Borg life signs around. Oh. Um, Lieutenant Commander, I'm reading seven Borg life signs. Right. I mean, could these Borg really be... I mean, if the Collective's gone, how are they still like this? Aren't there Maybe. any sort of active terminals around... Uh, not in this area. Uh, you okay. s uh, this area is fairly decrepit, run down, and basically it must have been used for some sort of storage at some point, but no active terminals here. I'm thinking they're like a computer. They're turned off, and then whatever brought them back online, the changes to the collective have already been done, but they don't know that. They didn't get the update. Hey, Windows 7. <laughs> yeah, let's try this again. A little closer. The Collective, do you still hear them? Is that what they're called? Collective, right? Yeah, it was the Collective. Yeah. It I... makes no... It doesn't make any, s or it doesn't respond as you talk to it. It is oh. engrossed in trying to fix the unfixable. Uh, like I said, Mr. Moose, I think we should be able to move along. I don't think they see us as a threat. No. Uh, uh, so I'm getting closer, I see into this room with my light. <laughs> Um, which way would my tricorder be pointing towards a power source? The um, first, the closest one, I would say. Uh, all power sources are coming from the south. And there uh, is one that is off to the southeast. Okay. I'm going to wave everyone to follow me. Sorry, stream. I'm busy yeah. moving this map around and have the lethargy of turtle. <laughs> Follow Reinhardt. Do, do, do. And now from locked up. Yay. Okay. Just. Hopefully. Nope. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. So... Well, commit to this action. Go into this room. Okay. You are in the center. There we go. Now Chrome's working. Go. Actually, I'll move over to this side here so I'll let everyone else sneak in behind me. There we go. Okay. 
Uh, Zach, feel free to move your token about where you are, please. In this particular situation. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, as pr as most of you have already seen, there is another Zomborg that is currently standing idle. It's unlike the one at the gate. This this one's uh, eye light is active, but it is not moving a muscle. There appears to be a Borg uh, in the lower left of the center room. It is picking up a box, moving it five meters, putting it down. Picking the same box up, moving it back, putting it down. It is getting the swollest of uh, squat muscles every time it does this. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to motion everyone into this little cargo room. Okay. Storage room. Looks like that Borg might be stuck in a loop. Oh. Well, they're supposed to be all connected, right? Maybe it's uh, doing whatever its last program was. I, like I am going to head up and... Move the box. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, this will be fun. <laughs> Move on a little further to let Farzilla in. Uh, okay, Zax, uh, oh. as you put the, or as <coughs> put the box down, you immediately grab the box and abscond with it. The Borg does not seem to notice. It goes to grab where the box was, move its arms as if it was carrying a box, and repeating the motion. Okay. Alright. I think we figured out it's a loop. <laughs> okay, let's not try and anger these things, right? I'd agree. Very carefully move forward. <laughs> okay. Um, everyone, uh, please keep up to date with your tokens. I don't want to just guess where you guys are going to be. <laughs> Huddling around Moose. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, Moose uh, takes the lead. To me. It's your mission, Levy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh... Happy Halloween from the crew of the Concordia. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Go ahead and check my tricorder again. All right. Well, you are getting closer to it. Uh, you are seeing a secondary power source coming directly to the right of your token. It appears right. that several power junctions are feeding into this area. I'm gonna poke my arm. Oh no! <laughs> you have found the Zomborg charging stations. That's fantastic. I'm just gonna poke my head back out. <laughs> uh, so where, what, what's the power source feeding into this? Where is that? Uh, it appears to be everything seems to be sourced from um, the coordinates that um, that that uh, Primrose gave you. That is now roughly, I would say, about probably 50 meters, 20 meters to south of you. Right. Zach, what are you doing? <laughs> oh no, what is Zach doing? Don't touch it. Don't touch it. I touch it. <laughs> Don't touch it. I touch um, it. Uh, well, if uh, define how you are touching it. Are you simply poking it? Or are <laughs> you touching... I'm, I'm poking it. I want to see if it does anything. He's caressing it. Secret love. Illustrate on this doll where he touched you. <laughs> I was not. I was not mentally prepared for Tellwright shenanigans. I don't know why I wasn't. Anyways, I, I think I got a message telling me for Tellwright shenanigans. Yeah, yes. Yes. I, I know what I told you to do. I was just not prepared for it. Ah, you should have been, bud. Yep. 
Anyways, you uh, poke it with enough force that it uh, sort of rocks back a bit, and then it writes itself, and it, uh, its head moves, and its uh, primitive uh, metal eye locks onto you and glows red. Other than that, nothing. Uh, after a few seconds, it resumes its position as a statue. I calm down the hall. Uh, fellas, don't touch them. <laughs> we know. I feel like this was an obvious thing. I I believe... just, he just looks over at the specialist and just like, what? Vax, you're supposed to... Uh, new order for you. You're going to tail the good doctor as close as he possibly can. If you deviate from that at all, I'm going to write you up. Okay. For, even though he's probably younger, for Lisa gives Zach like the dad eyes. <laughs> My second oh, wife, laddie, yeah. gave me that same look. <laughs> hey yo. Oh, you know I'm already loving this. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's keep trucking on forward. We got a little bit more to go, then hopefully we can get out of this quickly. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna poke my head here. Well, hello. There is a Zomborg directly to your left. Well, it is more than happy to say hello. Well, oh hello, how are you? It would, you know, as it <laughs> well. can without blinking or saying anything. It just looks at me. Yep. All right. All right. It's, I can I can see him now. Yes, yes, you can. Quick uh, the, question off yeah. the bat: How do you shrink all of like our character tokens on the screen? Because <laughs> like mean? I can barely like, like all like on my on the screen itself, we have like all all the boxes of everybody's faces. Yeah. How do I like shrink oh, that? Oh. oh. Oh, uh, so um, you're going to click on the gear. Okay. And then right scroll bottom. down to where it says, I think the very bottom it says player avatar size. And then uh, there's an option you can take so it's nice. names only. Thank you. Not a problem. <laughs> I was like, I can't move anything. Everybody's heads are so big. <laughs> <laughs> right, because you're on the laptop, aren't you? Uh-huh. Ah, yes. I am too. That was a trick I had to learn quickly. <laughs> oh, if, see, I have always done that on my desktop. If you get the uh, um, virtual tabletop add-in for Firefox or Chrome, you can actually get rid of those entirely. I'll send you the link. Okay. Nice. First try. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, yeah, so here you are down at the south. Uh, there is one wall, and then right behind said wall are the... Uh, at least one of the large power sources. There, the second, probably redundant one, is off to the uh, the right of you. All right. Hmm. Uh, is this a pathway here? Yes, it's a pathway. Okay, I'm just gonna scoot on a little bit as I uh, wait for everyone to start coming down. All right. Dresden, move. I'm moving. Slowly. S specialist, chop, chop. It's doctor. Doctor specialist. <laughs> <laughs> so I start seeing everyone's going to right. head over here. Uh -huh. I won't go and try and like move two, three squares and let everyone catch up then. That's fair. That's an See the other direction. Purposefully, he yep. decided to wander. Okay with that. <laughs> Zax isn't even in the same room. Uh, so... <laughs> Ensign, specialist. Uh, Ensign Moore, uh, you notice that the uh, the med the drone that. Oh, I don't see that far away ahead. Uh, the <laughs> there. You catch oh. sight of him. I don't have token vision quite where I want it, but. Editing, it's a bit finicky. Uh, you notice the medical drone that made contact and tried to hack Reinhardt's suit is purposefully on the move, heading off to this direction. Uh, Zax, you have found the bedrooms. Congratulations. 
at least of whatever society was in here beforehand. Um, sir, I just found a medical drone heading on the move this way. Understood. Everyone group up. Zax, where are you? Sorry. Coming. I found the bedrooms. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming I can see down here. Ah, uh, yes. I believe. I'm surprised you can't. The line of sight just isn't working quite right. There you are. That should give you a better view of things. No. Uh, Hello. So you, see, you see two large primitive, well, in Borg terms, extremely advanced for whatever society was here before, uh, obviously cobbled together from, MacGyvered together from local technology to make a pair of functioning fusion reactors. Uh, they appear to be powering this whole part of this or this part of the facility. Okay. Uh, you also see there's, of course, your good friend, or a new good friend, one, and one that you should be able to see, but line of sight just doesn't quite do it for this map. There's one slightly over here, too. All right, I'm going to move Mosey on in. Okay. I'm going to stand right here. Okay. So both of these Borg drones are quite motionless, uh, but they are active given their uh, ocular implants are uh, moving around on their own, uh, taking in just whatever the heck they're looking at. Their heads move slowly side to side, but that's the only indication that they are functioning. They do not react yet to your presence. Zach? Hey. Go to the control panel there to see if you can power down. The rest of you take aim at the other Borg in the distance. I'm going to deal with this one right here if he does anything. Oh, okay. For for Liz, I suggest moving a little further away from him. Yep. <laughs> I was like right there. Okay. Uh, Zach's taking a look, taking a look at the control panel. It is pretty standard. Um, the or your uh, suit translates the pictograms to be. Uh, from their typical Borg language into Federation Standard. And you can find out how the big easy off button. Okay. First, before I try to turn it off, can I get any information from it? Ah, this is going to be a Insight Plus Engineering test. And if you have power systems, that would be a perfect uh, sense, or perfect form, uh, or perfect focus to have. Now what? Where are we on a momentum? Uh, you have five, I believe. Okay, I'm gonna use one. Okay. Oh, the, see what difficulty I can two. I should okay. say. Thank you. That that does help too. But I want to see what I can get out of this Ooh. thing. Okay, so that I believe knocks you out on momentum. Yes. Um, I accidentally dropped the momentum token in the. Line of <laughs> I, I know I have. It. I see it. <laughs> Whoops. Hmm. Say, Livy. Um. Sorry, I just had a weird idea. Now I've lost my train of thought. Oh, right. Sorry. The uh, power systems. Okay. Uh, so this is primitive, even by Borg standards. But it's functional. Uh, the Borg have w uh, wired up a significant amount of power from these generators, and these generators p uh, power the. Uh, uh, the communication barrier and the shield that leads to the that's at the surface. Um, you do see, uh, you do notice that this is but a substation, uh, so this is where all the power is. This is just a relay or a local, you know, just a local depot, you know, 
a terminus of power. There, okay. It's tied into a much larger power network that extends uh, deeper below. Uh, you'll also notice that there are redundant power systems. Uh, so shutting this one down well, is a good start, but it is most likely that the Borg have a redundant system in place. Okay. Makes sense. So... All right, I relay this to Mr. Moose, and I will go ahead and try to shut it down with... Now, is there any... All right, let me see. Is there any control factors of this, like, of their collective... Are uh, they attached to this in any way? Can I tell that? Um, if you spend a momentum to ask the question, I will answer it. Yes, I will spend the momentum to do it. Consider okay. I just got us a couple. Uh, so what uh, you are... Uh, at first, or at your first glance, it appears to be an automated system. Uh, however, looking at it, you do see a... It's a little bit more advanced than that. Uh, you do see some sort of algorithm automatically uh, running checks, bypassing damaged wires, etc. Okay. It's not an intelligent system, but it's definitely not... Well, and it's not intelligent in the way that the collective is intelligent, but there's obviously a significant amount of intelligent design at work here. Can I hack into it? Uh, uh, this would be a daring plus engineering with a difficulty of four. Let's give it a shot. Okay. More is going to come over. Just because he's curious. <laughs> and if you have hacking or artificial intelligence, that would I have a. Emergency repairs, jerry rigging, um, yeah, power systems, and uh, the flight control systems. Uh, none of those I mean, would work here, I'm afraid. Have okay. you used your activation for Zach yet? Uh, no, not really. You could you could uh, give them hacking as a focus. <laughs> that would be fun for him. <laughs> oh boy. Moore's going to look over Zach's shoulder. Interesting. Could we try to throw a feedback loop through it and over, overload the entire system? Right, we have hacking now. <sighs> no, I did forget. I never transferred over, um, what was it, uh, bold or uh, calm hack or ha whatever uh. it was curious or whatever we were going to do. Right. Uh, anyway, um, I am going to use a uh, momentum. I die. I'm using my focus. If anybody feels like assisting, Mister, I'm on my shoulder. I mean, <laughs> I have not, a three in engineering. Go for it. And I have a computer's focus. Ooh, I'll take the assist. My, it, I'm doing daring engineering. Uh, yes, yeah. daring engineering. Does computers work as a focus? I'll let that work. Yes. Hey, there okay. we go. There's one momentum. Okay, so uh, Zach, you are impressive, and Moore is the icing on the cake. Uh, taking a bit of time to figure out the or figure out what's going on here, uh, Zach, you believe that you have a sufficient amount to throw a monkey wrench into this particular system. So, at the pushing of a couple big red buttons. You do so, and the algorithm's pr the algorithm's presence in this facility uh, ceases. Can I take can I take control of the Borg? No, you can't do that. Okay. Uh, because at doing so, uh, both of these tactical drones begin to uh, stir to life. And we are going to enter combat for uh, however quick this is going to be. It's a good thing I told everyone to look at the one in the distance. Yes. 
<laughs> All right, so uh, good guys go first. So, if you guys wouldn't mind, I'd like to go first since uh, I'm next to one. Sure, By all go means. ahead. <laughs> I'm Someone's a punch it. Please, good deck. Someone's good deck. Okay. Age before beauty. <laughs> <laughs> good thing I'm both. Uh... <laughs> oh. Oh. Nice I was sure about that. <laughs> I, uh, what am I going to do for punching? Okay. Daring, uh, daring security, right? Uh, now? Daring secu opposed to daring security, yes. Uh, just because I'll buy an extra dice. Okay. Just one. And I have focus. I keep doing that. Mako combat training. Mm -hmm. uh, so one success for me, so you need uh, I am defending, so you need two. And you get three. <clears throat> okay, so you have successfully punched the Borg. Adapt to this. <laughs> uh, so you get to roll me some challenge dice, please. And that's just five, if I remember correctly, right? Security mm -hmm. plus anything else, or just... It's just a... I believe it is... Uh, you. I believe it's just security, or one plus security. Okay. Which is a and five. I have mean right hook. Okay. So vicious that's... one in both effects. Ooh. So that's nice. seven. That nice. would be seven. Okay. And it's knocked down just in case if it wasn't. Yep. Now, <laughs> it does mean right hook make it lethal or just still? No, it just gives it vicious one. Okay. Makes it weird having something called with vicious effect be non-lethal, but hey. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, so Moose, uh, it feels like punching a um, bag of s or a metallic bag of sand, but <laughs> it goes down hard. <clears throat> I'm just looking at it like, okay, that's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> okay. Adapt to this. And then he does. <laughs> Fist shields raised. Oh god, no. Right. <laughs> okay. I like an MMO. It... Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, like an MMO, when he punches him again, it says the text immunity pops up above his head. <laughs> just going, oh no. <laughs> uh, fortunately, it's not that bad. Okay. It is this one's turn. It begins to move. Uh, so don't it... have quick reaction? <laughs> Unless no, I was the captain, uh, I would. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yes. One of the medical science or engineering officers is going to have quick to action. <laughs> hey, you never know. <laughs> hey, never know. This is why I wanted um, to have like the, a nerd's kind of fight like this. Because if you all were security, this would just be no fun. I mean, true. Not, no fun for me, but... Uh, this one will move and is going to attempt to uh, punch, is going to attempt to melee Zack as Zack is at the console. So I oh, need. Oh, right. Because these are TNG drones. They don't have a simulation two wheels. <clears throat> we don't know that. We have to uh, really don't want to find that out. Uh, so, Zach, let's see. Uh, if you could please roll me a uh, daring security roll. You need uh, two successes to, you know, dodge the attack. Would you like a spare momentum? Sure, sure. Because this is not going to be pretty. Ooh. Okay, uh, Ooh. you win. Uh, so you can immediately roll a uh, spare you can immediately roll a uh, melee attack in response. Okay. Is it daring or is it fitness? Uh, daring punch? security. And I should mention, um, if you haven't noticed it yet, there is a in the handouts folder, there is a handout with common conflict actions. And one of which is called recovery, which I saw no mention of when I was looking in the book. Very handy. Hmm. Anyways. Um, yep, roll it. Yeah. And 
Oh, wait. I can't do that. But I can do that. And no focus. Wait, so if he wins, doesn't he just get to roll damage back against it? I yep, think. That's, that's what he did. Um, that's, oh, that's not damage. Though. No, sorry. <laughs> I, I just rolled damage. Uh, Zach, not. I don't need the daring security. Oh. Sorry. Oh, I just oh, need the oh. challenge dice. Okay. And that, what is challenge for punching? Uh, one plus yeah, your a... melee, or one plus your security. Okay. Three challenge A whole three. three. Oh, oh, oh. I love that you rolled two 19s. <laughs> three. Three. Ah, ah. Oh, my. Well. That's two. Okay. That's two, and I believe it has the knockdown effect, so I have to spend two threat if I want to keep it up. And <laughs> I am going to spend two threat to keep it upright. But it has suffered three stress. Boo. But, oh yeah, I also, I also forgot, this is a machine. Uh, machines have resistance plus exoplating. Okay, cool. I would forgotten about that. Thank you for reminding me. me. Uh, so, Zach, remember that one time you got so hard and punched a geranium bulkhead? Yes. This is pretty much very similar to that. Punched a geranium bulkhead with what? How hard was Zach for him to punch a bulkhead? <laughs> I don't know. Zach got really hey, mad and took his frustration out on the nearest inanimate object. So, How much alcohol did you drink that night? Remember when all the robots were on the station and they're like breaking <laughs> my walls? <laughs> Anyways, uh, good guy's turn. Um, I would like to act. Sure, why not? Okay. Uh, we we could have brought down Type Twos without cost, right? Correct. Okay. Um, didn't I get handed a Type Three? <laughs> there was talk oh. of handing out Type Threes. I don't remember if you actually took it, but if you want to take it uh, in retrospect, yes, I will allow it. Let's yeah, because there was the me... whole conversation about who could use a rifle, and then I don't think we did anything. With it. Yeah, then we got sidetracked with uh, Moose's uh, helmet comms. Oh. <laughs> Let's look at... Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm okay with having mm -hmm. a Type 3, just because... Um... Borg. <laughs> yeah, Borg glassy. Okay. Okay. I'm just looking at the conflict task real quick here. Okay, uh, I'm just going to use my minor action to charge this thing and give it a uh, piercing. Okay. And then oh. I'm just going to... Oh, sorry, go ahead. You said charge. I'm like, you're actually going to go... Oh, you meant like charge the thing. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> oh, charge. That's what I had in my head, Char too. <laughs> charge my <laughs> phaser, sir. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that That's okay. Yep, that makes far more sense. Circle barrage. Um, it's, yeah, control security. Um, I'll take a momentum for a third die. All right. Yes, sir. And no focus. Yeah. You got one. Got one. I think you need two to hit. I, I did it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, nah, I'm not going to. I don't think I'm going to use my determination to. That's fair. Reroll shot here so it just goes wide. All right. The shot goes wide. Okay. Uh, next up is the bad guy turn, which is this guy who is going to spend his minor action to get back up and then he is going to take a swing at mr reinhardt so oppose daring security please and he has rolled one success so you need one or more to succeed well hmm you got one you did get one so the attack doesn't hit uh, however, due to the complication, I will say that you're caught off. While you don't suffer damage, you are caught off guard, so you don't get a free melee attack in response. Hmm. Okay. That's fair. Okay. 
that would be. It's better than getting like hit it, miss hit, hitting him and then getting tubules in the back of his neck. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so for Lisa has gone. I believe that it is Dresden or Zach. Or no, Dresden, Moore, or Zach get to go. Punch I mean, him I'll back, go, just. I can go blasty for on him. Sure. Although I don't Watch think it's shooting, lad. I know how to. I, I know how to take aim. All right. Um, although I don't think type three can be used up this close. I think there is something said that ranged have to be like me. Like, you can't be right within melee range. Um, I th don't remember precisely what that ruling is, so I'll say if you want to use it at this range, it is a difficulty 3 test. If I use a type 2, would it be increased difficulty? Uh, no. Uh, okay. di yeah, no normal difficulty for type 2. I'll use the type 2. Okay. Control security. I'll keep, I'll keep the type 3 like on my back, but I have the type 2 on my hip. Because why not? Okay. I'm going to spend momentum for a oh, third die just so I have it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't even try to swing any of my focus eye. That is the two successes you need and a complication. Wow, I'm liking all the complications you're rolling tonight. This is good. This is good. Keep them coming. Can I? Can I? Can I give you one? <laughs> Sure. Remember, my backpack is full of flammable liquid. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> ah, love it. Love it. Um, okay. okay. What is... It's two plus security for type two, correct? Uh, correct. Two total five. Wow. The best roll in the world, so that's two. Okay. Uh, ends and more in your uh, panicking or in your uh, snap response you manage to phaser it right where it has the most amount of armor so there's that um, problem of course is now somehow specialist Zach your backpack catches on fire uh, dealing Zach two stra points of stress damage and the uh, beard's on fire. Actually, no, you're in an EVA suit. Uh, you only take oh. one point of stress damage, and the EVA suit protects your beard. Ah. Oh! Huzzah! <laughs> the beard survives another day. For now. For now. The night, For is, now. The night is young. I believe now it is either Zach or... Oh, nope, sorry, I have one other drone on my side. I have this one, who is horrendously slow. So that is the only action it can take. Now, it is time for Moore or Zach. Or no, uh, for Lee. No, blah, 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 blah. Dresden or Zach. I'm just going to go ahead and punch him since I'm right here and I already have Disty Cuffs. All right. Okay, so it needs basically zero successes. Thanks. <laughs> uh, let's see. Crit, so, fail. Crit. Fail. Crit. Oops. Fail. Always a possibility. And it's crit. Green. Fail. Crit. Fail. When the opponent crit fails, does that mean we get momentum? <laughs> uh, sadly, no. But it, you know, gets a complication, which is very similar to you guys getting an advantage. So it all works out. Uh, so it does succeed, uh, so it gets to fight back. Uh, which is... Five challenge dice. Okay, so that is four success to you, Zach. And you need to spend two momentum uh, if you don't want to be knocked on your ass. Ed, yeah, yeah, two momentum. Okay. Please. All of our momentum is now gone. Okay. Thankfully, that is not an injury. Anyways, I uh, believe it is now Dresden's turn. 
Yep, and I'm going to try to take a pot shot with the phase three or the type three that I have over at the one by Moose. Okay. That's daring security, right? Uh, control security for ranged weapons. Daring security for melee. Thank God. <laughs> Jim Butcher hears you. No, that's not who wrote this. Jim Johnson yep. hears you. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Butcher is the Dresden Files. Jim author. Files, right? I thought it was fitting. What do you say? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Fuego. <laughs> what are you firing the face? Uh huh. Nope. Shot goes wide. I'm afraid. Dang. Uh, Hell Moose, well. Moose, you're busy. Uh, exactly. Squaring off, ready for round two with this guy. When all of a sudden a phaser blast just goes over your shoulder. I just look back slowly. What about his beard? No. His beard is also <laughs> protected by the environmental suit. And I believe that is everyone's turn. So, we're on to the second round of combat, which I believe is bad guys go first, unless you guys have momentum, which you don't. Okay. So, Ensign Zack. Ooh, how much set do I have? I have that. I'm going to spend it. Uh, opposed melee attack. And I'm going to spend a point of threat for this. Huh. Okay. Oh. Uh, you need uh, three successes. Nope, you're defending. You need two successes or more to avoid the assimilation tubules. How did you get that? Uh, escalation. Uh, if I spend threat to... It's an escalation thing. Uh, which oh, I'm uh, on your sheet. Oh. Like it actually has roll damage. Yeah. Uh, so the the sheets have weapon macro. Um, so if you oh. fill out the macro... You fill out your uh, weapon name and your the damage dice that it deals, there's a button right next to the damage dice you could push. Oh. Neat. Speaking of neat... Yep. Okay. Uh, so that is seven points of damage. Uh, you have uh, environmental suit, which gives you one resistance, I believe. So that's six. And I need to look what debilitating does. Oh, wait. I remember what it does. Yeah. Uh, you take six points of, de of stress, and you suffer an injury. Oh. The suit does have a resistance of one. Yep. Yeah, he said that. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, he got that. Uh, so, Zach, you go down. Well, that may or, I, well. <laughs> well, you could choose to avoid the injury uh, by spending your determination or giving me a stupid amount of threat. Um, I think that's how that works. I never remember. There's a void injury, isn't there? Which is yeah. one thing. Anyways, uh... So being docked now, is the injury the fact that I'm being turned into a Borg? Mm, no. Because well, you, yeah. you said the attack was with the tubules. I did say that, yes. Um, but what is very interesting is uh, you feel the tubes puncture. You feel a stupid amount of pain uh, emanating through your body. But you don't feel that you're actually being assimilated. Thank God. But, holy cow, the pain. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Zach screams in pain. So the rest of you uh, hear Zach scream in pain. You turn around to see a Borg tactical drone with the assimilation tubules uh, injected into his uh, neck. There you go, Dresden. Are you actually attacking someone with that roll? That'd be nice. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Yes! Yes, he is! <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> sorry, it's playing with I something. Mean, it would only yeah. be like four challenge dice. That's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that is this drone's turn. And I think it's time for another coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, good guys go. 
Who wants to go? Hmm. Uh... Who can do the most damage to these things besides me? <laughs> well, <laughs> apparently, um, Dresden and Moore have phaser rifles. Uh, so you can move for a minor action, you know, to at least get out of their rain, melee range. You don't have to stay static. You can take a minor action and move. You don't. I think I might take a minor action to go just a bit back and then try to get the one that was going after Zach. Okay. Go for it. Uh, control security. <clears throat> Difficulty two. Nope, still nothing. Still nothing on that front. Okay. But I figured out how that worked, though, now. Yeah. These sheets are just full of surprises, aren't they? Yes, they are. Okay, bad guys go. That would be this one here. And because I've used my escalation already, I'm just going to punch, attempt to punch Moose in the face. Okay. Uh, the, you need uh, one or more successes. <clears throat> That's three. You get two momentum back, and you can roll some damage dice. Three. Cool. Mm. Mm. I'm going to use one momentum to roll those rerolls those two zeros. All right. Uh, Five, and I need to spend two threat in order to stay up. Which so is vicious one. Ah, okay, so. so seven. Yep. Ouch. Okay, I believe that is a <laughs> sufficient to cause this guy a second injury, which is enough to take him out of the party. He goes down and decides not to move any further. His eye is twitching frantically as if that will somehow bring him back to life. I do the Henry Cavill motion possible and reload my arms. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so you still should have one momentum if I'm counting right. Yes. Okay. Who is next? So that was supposed to be my turn, which failed miserably. Uh, good guy's turn. Um, let's see. How will... Because I, I know that uh, Zach has taken some damage. Uh, how is he looking stress-wise, Captain? Uh, he's <laughs> looking pretty stressed. Um, I don't know his stress numbers precisely, but I'm pretty sure he's at least half. He should have okay, about half that... left. So okay. I have eight, eight stress I've taken. He was an injured character. So he hasn't taken an injury yet, right? Yes, he did. Yep, he did. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's out on it. I believe you took the injury just to get out of the scene? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, okay, hold on. So I don't... Because I'm looking at first aid, and I don't think it works how I want it to. Well, maybe it does. Hold on. Could I... Yeah, I don't think first day works how I wanted to. Yeah, it's stupidly difficult to regain stress in this system. Ironically, you can do it yeah. with the recovery action, but that's a personal action that you only take on yourself. I could also do it if I had taken the... Uh... I think there's a talent that lets you restore stress with... yeah. when you do first aid, yeah. but I did not take that talent, so... <laughs> See, this is what um... I mean. yeah. Who has a type three? Um, uh, Dresden and more. more. Okay. Yep. I mean, I'll let one of them shoot because I got nothing now. Now that I realize that first date doesn't work how I want it to. All right. So someone else can take the go. I, I was just gonna say, if someone wants to toss me a, a type three, I do a challenge dice worth of damage with it. Sure, I'll toss you over the Type 3 that's slung around my back. 
All right. I will count that as the minor action. Okay. And I'm going to fire one at the one that's been attacking Zach. Go for it. Rage. Want the momentum? Uh, no. no. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Nice. <laughs> so that's one momentum. Um, Reroll the zeros? Yeah. Sure. Okay, so that is 7 plus 4 effects. I don't think you can do that with the phaser offhand, but that is still enough to get through its in uh, past its armor and will cause it an injury. Causing it to go down. All that's left is the primitive boar that struts right up to Moose and attempts a horrendously slow uh, attack. So Moose, uh, you get one free success on your challenge dice to defend against this melee attack. Okay. Just because of what these guys are. Um, as soon as I find them again in my character sheets, there they are. Security. So, yeah, it's basically difficulty zero to uh, dodge against it. <clears throat> and that's two momentum for you. Four damage. Okay. Surprisingly, uh, no effects, but... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll use a momentum to reroll the three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go yeah so that's uh, 7 plus 2 for vicious that's 9 yeah it takes a very clumsy swing which impacts you you know it's not going to cause you damage so you just let it hit you so that you power right through and he doesn't even get a red X through him he's just dead I punched the components out of him. Mm, pretty much. Your fist enters its desiccated uh, chest. You reach inside. You pull out its still thumping uh, lead zinc battery. <laughs> Does that make me a doctor now? Just perform my first operation. It's about this time that there are two very loud wails. One coming from Zack, who believes that he is in the process of being assimilated. Uh, the second is coming from the power generators. Apparently, whatever you have done has uh, completely overridden whatever safeguards were keeping these things balanced. And they are in the process of disastrously overheating. Oh. Well, uh, are we still in combat turns, or is can anyone... Uh, combat is, for the moment, done. Whoop! I'm going to try and undo whatever he just did. <laughs> or fix whatever I can. Okay. Uh, daring plus engineering. Could this be an extended task? Um, sure. Let's make it an extended task. It's going to be a fairly slim one because you only have maybe three cycles to get it done. Uh, let's see. So it is going to be WT15... Diff of three, mag or resistance of three, and a magnitude of two. Okay, uh, would EPS be a focus? I would let that happen, yes. And daring engineering? Daring engineering. And if anyone is in a position to assist, um, for Lisa, you might want to look at Zach. Yep. But... I mean, I, I am standing next to Reinhardt. Yeah. Um, Moore, do you want to assist? I can. Okay. Yeah. Uh, daring plus engineering. Interesting. 
Okay, so that one from most. Do you need a critical success more? No pressure. None. Reverse engineering as a focus. Computers as a focus. Um, I'd prefer if you had power systems. Uh, I'll none. let computers work. Okie dokie. <clears throat> nope. Okay. Can I use no, a determination? Uh, and just to re-roll the zero? Yeah. Sure. You don't get the automatic successes as you would if you tried it again, but... Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, you can only spend the determination after to re-roll dice already rolled, or you can do it on the next task to get an automatic success. I'll do it on the next one. All right. Uh, so, time is ticking away. Um, whatever Zach did has thrown the, si the system into an absolute tizzy. Um, data packets are going everywhere seemingly without proper destination. Uh, power balancing systems have gone completely lopsided. And it seems that the redundant system is just stuck, is doing the computer equivalent of standing in a corner uh, in the fetal position, whistling it to itself. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, right, so, um... uh, second roll, please. You only have uh, three more... Uh, time tests before, you know, to pass or fail this. So what no pressure. was our mission directive? Well, take well your mission directive was to at least allow commit well take down the shield, which, you know, destroying this would probably do the trick. So that, that can work for a determination use. Uh, what value do you want to tap for it? Well, because like because uh, I was thinking like we can also use the mission directive too, right? Oh, can we? Oh, I'll have to look that up, but I'll allow it, sure. All right, so I'll do that, then, so, like, take down the shield. This is this is perfect for it. All right. <clears throat> All right, so two automatic successes plus two more. Awesome. Uh, Moore or Dresden, which are either of you assisting? I gotcha. Okay. And no, I don't. Uh, what sort of focuses do you have, Dresden? Oh, the only things I got are xenobiology, astrophysics, and warp physics. Hmm. Yeah, none of those would work here, I'm afraid, unless the planet jumps to warp speed. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's not do that. Yeah, so... no, that story's been done. It was fun. Um, that's, I believe, four successes, so you get one momentum. Uh, Moose, can you please roll me seven challenge dice, please? Yeah. Okay. I will take that momentum to re-roll the three zeros, though. Yeah. Four, four zeros? zeros. Yep. Jeez. Yeah. That's much better. Okay, so seven I... successes. But that's not all. I know that. I have, in the nick of time, in Miracle Worker. Ah. Oh, God! Okay. Oh. So that's 11 work done. Okay. Along with Miracle Worker. And two breakthroughs. <laughs> okay, so 15 Jesus. minus 11 brings it down to four. Um, knocks the difficulty. Well, resistance was three. Oh, yes, I forgot there was resistance. Uh, so that makes it eight. Fifth, so seven left. Cool. Uh, difficulty is uh, two breakthroughs. That reduces the difficulty twice, don't it? Probably. Yes. Yep. Okay, so Moose, you are... Uh, working like a madman, um, this technology has more in line with the, I hate to use the word primitive power management systems of your era, but you find yourself at home here. It's similar to uh, load balancing the power needed for the fusion reactors and the warp core on the old NX classes. And I'm sure you've done a lot of that with your how the systems were so finicky. So, you're right, yeah, you're right at home here. Pretty much to the point where Moore attempts to say, oh, have you moved the wiggly jobble over there? At which point you just look at him and shake your head with disdain. <laughs> uh, That's a back, absolutely. Uh, meanwhile, while they're doing that, uh, does anyone care to... Or for Lisa, let's have you look at yeah. Zach. And Dresden, if you want to assist for Lisa, you may do so. Sure. Uh, this will be a uh, daring, uh, no, control medicine, please. Uh, difficulty of three. 
because of the debilitating condition. With his medicine of one, he's like, that's a Tellarite. <laughs> well, Let's see. Uh, emergency medicine is a focus. Yep. Yeah, uh, considering that he might be getting assimilated, I would call that an emergency. Um... Yeah, this seems like a good time to uh, pop the termination. Okay. Um. Though I think it's the only one I've used so far. Treat anyone, even those who wish you harm. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that works. Zach doesn't wish me harm, but I do have to treat anyone. <laughs> well, you haven't beat him at darts yet, so. True. Okay, uh, that is the two successes you need, and nothing from Dresden. Uh, so, I see that, that we do get a momentum because you said it was difficulty three. Uh, yes, I did. My bad. Sorry. So we do get a momentum. Huzzah. Nice. Yes, indeed. Uh, so, uh, two things. One, Zax is, uh, well, aside from the damage done to the environmental suit, which is now, or which Useless. has resealed. <laughs> nah, it's resealed oh, itself. I... There's enough, uh, you know. Starfleet suits have punctured them, have gotten punctured enough over the years that they have uh, the chemical equivalent of a self-sealing stem bolt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it has sealed itself from the breach, um, or two breaches in this case. Uh, so you've you figured out two things. One, aside from the two vampiric holes in Zax's neck that have bored almost to his uh, rather thick collarbone. Uh, there is no sign of Borg nanoprobes in his body. Which means that all the whining and complaining that Zack is currently doing is probably a little overblown. Okay, good. Good news, Zack. You're fine. And <laughs> I'll give him almost like too hard of a pat near where the uh, wounds are. <laughs> You'll live. A Tellarite overreacting. Shocker. <laughs> is, there, is there anything left inside the backpack that's still sealed? Um, or, you know, that's uh, didn't uh, blow up or break. Let me see here. Let's roll. Uh, yes, there are still two bottles of that mystery substance. Most likely alcohol. We'll, we'll drink one of them anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, Reinhardt, uh, can I have your last daring plus engineering? Or, in this case, now that you've, you know, done the majority of the work, if you want to roll Insight Engineering to gain you other information, you can do that instead. Either way. Uh, I'll do daring still. Okay. Uh, Zach, could you please roll me a fitness medicine test? Difficulty of one. Okay. All right. Moose does that. Uh, Moore, are you assisting? I can assist. Can I assist with insight engineering and like sure. I'll let try to work. get try to do like the see if I can get anything more on the system? Sure, go for it. All right. Whew. Oh, cool. Nice. Okay, so I think that's a grand total of three momentum for you guys. Gonna uh, use one of those three roll. Uh, right. Hang on. Um, we're at magnitude zero, which means you roll eight challenge dice, Moose. Oh, yeah. So re-roll and add one. So re-roll five die. Okay, so a grand total of eight minus three. the three resistance uh, would leave you with a work track of two. Uh, or that's still a breakthrough, right? Uh, that's still a breakthrough. Yes. Two breakthroughs, and every oh. effect is. Okay, I believe that is enough breakthroughs that the task just completes itself anyways. Okay, so, um, the wailing of Zax is, you know, a... You push it out of your mind while you are busy manually coding the... Or recoding the, bal the power... Ah, the power distribution system. Basically using the equivalent of a napkin... Uh, or back of napkin math, but it seems to work rather well. Uh, Ensign Moore, you're looking through all this, and your linguistics background is picking, 
is going through the code and it's actually picking up what appears to be language like not the universal language of mathematics but actually you know you know written math or written language with um verbs actions nuance that sort of thing as i'm looking over moose's shoulder i go hold, hold on hold on let me see if i can re read this and it takes you a few seconds well maybe a couple minutes uh based with your based on your linguistics you notice or everything appears or on the surface it's math you know math or simple command formulas However, once you take all the nuances and run it through your various universal translators, uh, it comes down to stuff like uh, defect demands, defect controls, defect insists, basically that sort of stuff. Basically a computer, like the computer is going through its checklist? Something along that line, yes. For the most part, it's pretty straightforward, except there's a couple parts where uh, you can see where the organization flow of a typical program is overridden with more, uh, what's the phrase I'm looking for, um, instinctive commands, like instinctive overrides, like uh, defect detects this problem, other solutions will not function defect demands this instead so it's a somewhat level of sentience or ai yeah very very basic at least at this level but i uh, either way uh moose uh you press the big green button and both of the cores are in no immediate danger of exploding i'll show my tricor uh tricorder with the translated information to moose and go this is what that screen was saying. That's yeah, weird. It seems like it's rudimentary at AI. Because it's responding to itself problem solving. Mm. Well, we're not in danger of blowing everything up right now, so if we have some computer access, let's attempt to communicate then. I'll leave that to you. Hi, sir. And then I'll notice that there's two computer panels over here. Yep. <laughs> are they active? They are active enough, yes. Oh, uh, did the lighting change? <clears throat> like the... Like the, the dynamic oh. lighting? Mm, no, should it, it should still be showing... Why are you I seeing... See, I see everything. <laughs> I'm, oh. I'm going to refresh. Interesting. Yeah, I see everything it's... we've gone through thus far, but I don't see anything that it's I haven't seen before. Through a few things, which is yep, there it goes. It it aired out on me. <laughs> oh, uh, rip. Oh, I'm just gonna forget what I saw. I saw nothing. <laughs> That's all right. It's mostly forgettable. Pay no What's attention. forgettable? Pay no attention to the horde of Borg moving in your direction slowly. Anyways, um. Where were we? Oh, yes. Uh, Ensign Moore, if you could please do me a... I think this is going to be the first time I ever have any player roll this. Roll me Presence plus Science. Okay. That's an interesting combination, but I like it. Yes. Um, and if you have, like, Diplomacy or... Uh, I guess Linguistics would work here. Computers, Linguistics, one or the other. I have Computers and Linguistics. Okay. Um, yay. Yay. Uh, this will be a difficulty of two. Okay, I'm going to buy a third die so I uh, activate my cautious. Okay. And I'm going to reroll that zero for our nice. cautious. Okay, that's a shame. That is uh, four successes already, so two momentum. And... Services. Dang! <laughs> Still a complication. Okay. <laughs> But I got two momentum. Um, the computer is now in love with you. <laughs> oh. Um. Okay. Uh, you appear. I'll take the complication. Okay. 
uh, you appear to establish connection with it calls itself defect I'll just type in the uh, keyboard hello defect uh, nearby audio speakers crackle to life with a heavily distorted reverberation hello identify yourself to defect um i'm just gonna say i am more more do you have means of escaping this planet say not currently because we're within the dampening field so we can't get out clarify if the shield if the dampening field was deactivated do you have a means to escape this planet yes good and with that we are going to take our break when an evil AI asks you if you have a ship, you say no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, let's be back here just under 15 minutes. Let's be back here at half past the hour. And we are back. So uh, just before we went to break... Uh, the omnipotent, or not the omnipotent, the uh, slightly malevolent, malicious, oddly distorted voice asked you if you had means to get off the planet. You replied yes. Uh, shortly afterwards, um, you know that odd um, rhythm, or the odd rhythm sounds coming from deeper below you of machines revving up and then failing and then revving up and failing. and Well, it's now become a regular rhythm. And about this time, uh, all of your comm links come to life with the sound of a uh, solid shot gunfire in the background. Hello, uh, this this is a... Uh, eh, sorry, I'm not in my right frame of mind. <clears throat> there we go. This is Princess Sakina. What in the rainy day have you done down there? We're s seeing... Oh, we're hearing all sorts of footsteps coming up the ladders from down below and these beasts seem to be moving again understood full back to the shuttlecraft if you can yes yes working on it so we just awakened old borg fantastic oh dear um, if they really are borg though i think they're they predate Borg. They're still hmm. Borg. Well, they're still cyborgs. They're not necessarily Borg as a collective. Uh, okay. I want so... the four of you ready to start running back, okay? Yep. That might be about a good time as yes, sir. those remember the Zomborg that were hooked up to the uh, Power stations? Oh, yes. Well, here they come. Um, I want to try and trigger, if I can, mm -hmm. um, make the generators act like an EMP. Ah, okay. Just pull themselves out. They uh, like to make that pulse. Cool. Uh, daring plus engineering, difficulty of three. And you have EPS systems, I believe, so I'll count that as a focus. Yeah. And... and... You know what? I'm going to use one of the saved milestones for, um, as a momentum. Okay. Or as a determination. Sure. Uh, I'll do whatever it takes to return home to my family. That'll be good, yep. All right. That is a grand total of five successes, I believe. <clears throat> so you get three. Uh, you get two momentum. I believe that maxes you out. 
Uh, yes. How big a range of, the, or how big a ra detonation radius do you want on this thing? Well, it's more of an EMP blast. Um, I wanted to get it as close to the surface as possible. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, you realize that might short out all of your gear too. The environmentals, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so, as the can I try to get the AI to stand down? Um, I think your chance just went away with, uh, uh, moves. There's an EMP ball. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, I don't think, I don't think Moose isn't even aware of the AI. He's more concerned about the Borg. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay. As the Borg trips closer and closer to Moore. Uh, you might want to get away from that console there, Moore. Just. You know, I'm gonna run. It's, I usually don't like telling my players what to do, but self-preservation, you know. <laughs> hey, no. okay. Uh, these Borg tramp in, and you guys are you sticking around. Oh, we're booking it. <laughs> Hell no. Okay, yeah, book it. There is a wine on the generators. You make your way out of the. Oh, hello. <laughs> system. Uh, I guess I'm punching this one. <laughs> yep. Dresden, uh, Zax, let's go! <laughs> yep, move your own tokens, folks. And the, uh, all these Borg immediately take one momentum. Down. Oh, momentum. I don't need to punch this one? Oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, daring plus security, please. Okay. Zax! Now is not the time you to fight what? I the can't even roll to defend against that. I mean, no. it's possible I can get two ones. Let's see if I do. Nope. Uh, roll some challenge dice, please. It's finished. It's finished. Yeah, fitting uh, that I five. have so much stress. Uh, <laughs> if I need to, I'll... Because we're over Captain Momentum as is. Yep. So I'll, I'll just... We roll the two zeros. Sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, he doesn't even. I, at first, I thought you were just going to, you know, run with your hand out and basically football. Um, Boom. Footballs. Linebackers. But in this case, I think you're going to run out, gr grab him in a bear hug, and just keep running with him in a bear hug until you just smash him down against the nearest wall. <laughs> That I just run right through him like a train. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You never want a moose to run and charge at you. So no. bad. <laughs> no, you don't. Ever been gored by a moose? It's something that only happens to you once. Yeah, because you don't survive. Precisely. Okay. Continue. <clears throat> this joke from brought to you from Canada. Canada's <laughs> awesome. All right, I'm gonna move here. All right. So I'm a, I'm an interposing object. Okay, uh, we're going to quick. We're going to do some more uh, combat, I think. Even if it oh, is combat, for you guys, to get your arms out of here. More combat. Okay, I'll fire. Okay. Uh, oh bugger! I hate it when this happens. Uh, clear all turns. Add new ones. Okay, um, I think Moose encountered them first, so Moose get, I think it appropriate Moose does something else. Somebody else wants to go? No, I'll punch the, the one guy down. Sure. Go for it. Uh, did we cap again, by the way, on Momentum last? Um, I, da, 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 he did that, and then... Yeah, you would have capped. Okay, so the, we'll just leave it at five because I'm just going to use one momentum for an extra dice. Sure. That is two successes, and my boar, my dear Borg, probably doesn't do as well. Nope. Uh, <laughs> two more momentum. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so five. we have one floating. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. 
and mean right hook, so we still have one floating. <laughs> yep. Uh, can I just do that as extra damage? <laughs> uh, yeah, you can roll it as an extra d challenge dice of damage. Or uh, we could do it as a quick to action. Use that momentum as quick to action. Yeah. 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 Sure. Okay. Um, that is that. I would need a three threat to stay up. I'm not doing that, so if he does take an injury. I just imagine, like, Moose turns the corner, sees him, just grabs him by the head and slams it against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> so that okay. was that one. That was that one. Can, can I fire my phaser, uh, using the area effect? Uh, yeah, I believe that counts as your minor, so yes. Security. I'm gonna spend an extra for a dice for moment with momentum. I don't have a focus. Yeah. Well, I got it. You got it. You got it. Uh, so roll me some challenge dice, please. Okay, that's five. Um, I think I am going to take that complication. Do that. Oh, boy. Uh. Okay, so that is a grand total of five. Not enough to get past their resistances, I'm afraid, but it does deal them some damage. Let's move! Okay, uh, bad guys' turns, I believe, which will be uh, this Borg here, which is down. So he is going to spend his minor action to get back up, and he is going to punch uh, Moose in the face, or at least still attempt to. Okay, security. Hey, I'm getting good at this. Uh, let's see. Uh, Moose, you need uh, two or more. <clears throat> okay, uh, roll to your challenge dice damage since you have won. Do you want to re-roll those zeros? So, he got right down. He got up. And he got back down. You apparently are going to keep him down. <laughs> Nicely done, Moose. Nicely done. Okay, that was this one. Okay, good guy's turn again. Uh, so you can do a minor to move and just basically get the hell out. Or you can, you know, try shooting something. I believe it is Zach, Furliza, or Dresden can do stuff. And one Considering second. Considering how ineffective I am at shooting, I think I'm going to just try to get the heck out. Wise idea. I'll be right back. My headset's about to die. Oh no! No! And I'm back. Sorry about that. Okay, so Dresden has boogied on out. Mm-hmm. That was... He was apparently not even in my combat order. Sneaky, sneaky Dresden. <laughs> okay. This one is going to come forward and attack Moose. And... I don't... Just a quick thing. Yes. I don't know if this is... Like, I got the stream on my TV, and, like, the oh. map... I'm sorry, I haven't... I'm sorry, I have uh, not been keeping up with the map. My bad. Let's uh, do that. I don't even know whose token I have vision, whose token I'm seeing. Um, I think it's off mine, mostly. Mm. Oh, yeah, it apparently is uh, Dresden. So I know where you are, Dresden. I'm just going to move back here so that we can at least see the fight. Works for me. Sorry about that, folks. I will fix this in post. No, I won't. I'll just try and remember it for next game. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so Zomborg <laughs> moves. Thanks for thanks for reminding me there, uh, Bashir. 
Now, because we're at activation three, uh, you don't get the uh, the uh, one free success against these guys anymore, Moose. All right. I mean, they, their stats are still crap, but I can at least try. All right, you need a uh, one or more success. Do the normal two dice. All right. You do it. Uh, roll damage. Uh, uh, do you guys okay if I take the momentum for a real? Yes. Sure. <laughs> so, uh, four, five, six, seven. All right. Uh, so you are apparently your first uh, lead zinc battery wasn't enough, so you've decided to start a collection. You don't know what these Borg are a big deal about. They're like rock'em sock'em robots. <laughs> okay, so that's that, guys. Next up is one of you guys. Uh, for Lisa or Sh Zach, I believe. Uh, yeah. For Lisa, we'll move here. Okay. And then, sure, let's try and shoot a Borg again. Okay. What could possibly go wrong? Have at thee. Alright. Control security, 2d20. Well, that was what went wrong. <laughs> at, least you didn't, at least you didn't shoot Moose. Yeah. Okay. And my turn again. Uh, this guy gets to go. And what you see is this guy rounding the corner. Coming up. And that is pretty much his turn. Uh, next up is one of your guys's. I believe it's Zach left before we restart. That's the repair drone, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm limping up to the rest of the group. All right. Quit being a baby. Do I did I get anything back from your medical thing, or just stood me up? Uh, I basically I... semi patched you up, ish. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I still have like eight stress yeah. damage and an injury. <laughs> Uh, might I recommend, uh, Zach, you look up the recovery action that is in the handout that I've given you? Because as far as I'm determined, it might be the only way for characters to actually get stressed back during combat. Uh, there is a talent in the science book, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, recover. Uh, you can duck behind cover and recover your breath. You get a difficult. This is a difficulty two fitness plus command test. Or difficulty one if you hide in cover. Uh, success means that you gain one additional resistance for cover dice. Uh, you regain your ability to avoid an injury. And you regain two stress per momentum spent. And you have a, lot, a few momentum. So, just a thought. Okay. We're going to go ahead and... Uh try to do some recovery while I'm in the back, not fighting. Okay. I will call that as being in cover. So that's a difficulty one. Uh, fitness plus command. Survey says. <clears throat> Which I don't know is going to actually help in any way, but gosh darn it, we'll try. Hey, you know. <laughs> Never hurts. Well, okay, it did hurt. Well, but... I, yeah, it did. <laughs> okay, hey. one momentum and you get two stress back. <clears throat> All right, and I believe the only one left is this tactical drone, and he is going to come up and he is going to attempt to assimilate the moose. I will spend the threat to get the escalation. 
And where is his tubules action? That's not promising, Moose. Uh, you just need to get uh, one or more success now. Yep. Uh, I'm going to take a momentum just for an extra dice, just because he tried to assimilate me. And, yeah. Uh, he can't right. have this Canadian beef. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be Canadian no, bacon. No, we can't. That's uh, three more momentum, so that caps you again. Roll some damage, buddy. Uh, I'm going to take one moment to reroll those two. Sure thing. Name you. Okay. Uh, eight. So eight. Eight points. That is enough to give him an injury. And he goes down. I just look back at everyone. Like, what are you still doing here? Get out the door. Okay. That is everyone's turn. Bad guy's turn now medical drone is going to wander over here and he is going to attempt a reclamation which I believe is a control no nope, reason medicine reason medicine what does charge do on an attack um, good question. Don't remember off ha immediately offhand. We'll find out soon. Okay, so uh, he, uh, ignoring all of you at the moment, he walks over to this uh, Borg that is still attempting or simulating life, comes down, uh, injects it with his uh, assimilation tubules, kills it, and begins to harvest its mechanical parts. So I, uh, because of its harvest ability, I gain two threat. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, sorry, did I just oh, giggle? Yeah. <laughs> uh, apparently I just giggled. Okay. Anyways, that's my turn. I, I lift up my Type 3 phaser rifle and I look at him. More will copy what you're doing. <laughs> it doesn't pay you much heed as it begins to move towards the next one. Yeah, I'm going to shoot it. Go uh, minor it. action. So what does charge do again? Where uh, <clears throat> you can do a lot of things. That it's like you can... Uh, you can use it for piercing to get yeah. it resistance area. Uh, you can charge it to give it vicious one. Okay. Yeah, I will charge it for vicious one. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, you can give it area, intense, piercing two, or vicious one. And these things do have resistance, I should say, but... Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay, you made a point. Piercing two. Alright. Uh, and I will take a moment for an extra dice. Go for it. Do it. Okay. Uh, hmm. 20, 19, 20. How? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Zinch is with me on this night. I do have, Man, Moose, I, Moose I, made I, the flag of his homeland. I, I, can, I can give you a milestone, can I do you roll those? Uh, you've already spent it once for determination this uh, game. I only allow that to, be, to happen once. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll just give you four threat. How about that? Hmm. Tell you what. How about I take uh, two threat and just say that the that you're now uh, holding a grenade. Ooh! Everyone really needs to run away from me then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Throw it and go. Roll me daring security. Guess where I'm gonna. <laughs> daring security difficulty daring. one. And if you have something like a, um, let's see, like a, our vocabulary is failing me, um, calm under fire or, you know, stoicness or blah, it's... Full body workout. I flex with it. 
<laughs> I'll let that happen just because it's funny. <laughs> uh, experimental jerry rigging, warp core, fabrication, Mako. Nah. Uh, oh, Mako, Mako, Mako will Mako? Mako will work. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Uh, you succeed, so you get to throw it, and it will land where you want it to. <laughs> right next to. Uh, right, I'll put it right behind this one. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Can you roll me? Uh, what? So your security score is four, right? Yeah. Yes. Roll me six challenge dice, please, with a vicious of one. Well, <laughs> that's incinerated. As well as half the wall. Yeah. It's a good thing I threw it there instead of just next to my feet. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of glad you uh, actually succeeded that test. You know, I don't want a TPK. I'm, it would be... It's probably rare that uh, you TPK during a Star Trek Adventures game, but... Anyways. So, yeah, that's the sound... Or once the uh, reverberations die down, well, there's no more immediate threats. I just look at everyone like, that was planned, go, go, go. Run. Okay. Super running. <laughs> you guys make your way run, out Barry, run. to the pit. Level one. Of the Go pit. Body check that <laughs> zombie if he still left the entrance and pushed me to the pit. It's still dead, but now you've just ensured that it doesn't come back to life. Uh, you hear the sound of the cracking of uh, solid shot weapons coming from the. To call it a staircase would be not quite accurate, but coming from the rigging and the scaffolding of the pit upwards. Uh, you see both Uba and Moriv shooting down at several of the Zomborgs that are making their way up. Just gonna yell at them like, just reach into their body and pull out their guts. <clears throat> Moriv has a sword and seems to be doing his best to follow your instructions. Princess Sakina is already buggering up. She looks back at you guys. Ifrit, s stop them. This is obviously your fault. Find some way to stop them. Primrose, you still have a connection with us? You do indeed, Primrose. I do. All right. Lift up a bit and target the um, power junctions that you detected and shoot them down with the uh, torpedoes of the runabout. This garden will carry out this order. Okay, so you're going to attempt to, to fire down the pit? Is that... Because you're a ways underground. Uh, from my understanding was that these uh, power relays were were keeping the shield up. They weren't in the pit. They were like far oh. uh, farther out. Weren't uh, they? Um, so this one... So the power station here uh, will power the generator... Will power the uh, generators, yes. However, Zach determined that there could be a that there is possibly a redundant system, but it is possible. Yes. I'm just thinking they're not they're not they're shielded more on the outside than on the inside. Fair enough. Okay. I'm hoping, um, on, that, hoping on that. Can you? So let's see. Uh, so this is going to be a scene change. So you lose one momentum. Uh, Primrose, can you please do yes. a control security? Yes. And and someone with the runabout can assist with uh, weapon security. This is only going to be a difficulty one because oh, you're okay. not in you're not in the heat of combat, and right. the the, st the coordinates are pretty stationary. Okay, I have pretty decent chances, but uh, let's take a momentum for a third die just to be okay. on the safe side. I nominate the captain to take the shuttle. <laughs> I will. I don't have a focus. I'm our Con officer. Yeah. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> I don't That's know why four successes. Hang on here. Oh, good lord. Yeah. Um, yep, you're back to maxed on momentum. Uh, four successes, that's three momentum. 
So we're at yeah. five. Wait, why am I wrinkle? There we go. And then I can close that off. There we go. Okay. Uh, so Primrose, you launch some micro torpedoes from the runabout. And your the power junctures are detonated. And the shield goes down, and for the moment it stays down. Uh, you're getting as soon as the shield goes down, you're hearing a wide, you get a wide beam transi transmission from the starship up above. Can anyone hear us? We will commence firing in two minutes if we do not hear a response. I'd like to set up the uh, transporter uh, answers. Okay. The shields have been destroyed, Lieutenant Commander. Start beam out on the um, the princess and her entourage. Okay. All right, Primrose. Uh, control plus engineering. Uh, this is only oh. going to be a difficulty two task uh, because you're beaming from the enhancers to your pad. And this is going. And the runabout can assist with sensors engineering. Uh, I set up the enhancers as well. Yeah, I figured you'd do that. Let's see. Uh, momentum for a third die. All right. Control engineering. And I don't have focus. Oh. Oh, excellent. <laughs> oh, Canada. <laughs> oh. What we received. Wow, and it's the long. same roll. Okay. Man. The... <laughs> Lieutenant Commander, <laughs> I have received the old gay party. They are paste. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's the Canadian flag. <laughs> yes, yes it is. Um, uh, they have turned into Tim Horton's cups. That's <laughs> confusing. <laughs> uh, so, I don't... Um... Does... GM, GM.exe has crashed. Does Grimrose have a value? <laughs> nope. <laughs> has she been activated? Yeah, she yes, act yeah. I gave her sensor operations as a focus, um... and then last session I gave her a talent. Yeah. So... Okay. Um, so... <laughs> Just beam a Borg in a Borg. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what happens. Oh, no. All three of them they, beam out. Oh, no. They don't live for long, do they? Um, they are... And they energize in the runabout's transporter room. Oh, no. Uh, let's see. I should have the uh, runabout trans... Here. Except you guys are not here. Control, shift. <laughs> uh, nope. Wrong way. Do, 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 do. Where's my mouse? There's my... Ah! Oh, whoa. <laughs> Wrong transporter accident. Um... Everyone shake to the right. <laughs> <laughs> Shimmy! And, and go, <gasps> go out here. There we go. Okay, so, all three of them... So, all three of them are beamed out. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Oh no! Oh, oh. well, you are sort of in luck because she was the third. Oh, a Princess Sakina steps down from the pad. Uh, Primrose, you're not entire. So you saw three patterns. Uh, two patterns it got distorted. During a uh, the during the beam out, good. They're alive, but you don't know where they are. Oh, good. So basically, oh. I transported them out of phase, essentially. Uh, it's um, they're more, not sort yeah. of. Yeah. So more like um, what? Ah, actually, what has happened is in an attempt to beam them out, 
the transport uh, during the transport process, um, all three all three patterns were beamed up. Um, however, only uh, Princess Sakina's was stable enough to re-energize. The oh. the runabout attempted to send the other two back to the transport enhancers. However, um, there they never made it back, or they didn't make it back there. Uh, life sign indicators indicate that they successfully materialized, but roughly 70 feet down. And judging from the judging from your sensor readings and those of the away team. They are where the Borg be. Oh, jeez. And uh, so, you guys... So, yeah, feel free to relay that. Because this will be fun. Lieutenant Commander. Yep. I have retrieved the princess. The other two... According to sensors, are about seventy feet below where the Borg are. Can you try to target their position again and beam them out? Um, I can try, but if I do, I might risk transporting some Borg on board the shuttle, sir. Without the answers, too. Yep, that's they're not. Be... It's going to be very difficult. That's a difficulty 5 test. Beam me up. Okay, I will attempt to beam Reinhardt up. Okay. I guess all of us. <laughs> oh, that. okay, gotcha. Okay. So, a similar roll, um, except try to roll better. You don't have to, <laughs> but... Uh, um, yeah. Um... Control engineering, and the ship will assist with uh, structure engineering. Or sensors engineering, sorry. Difficulty of what? Uh, difficulty of two, because you're beaming them from enhancers to the pad. Okie doke. Momentum third, fourth, third die, question mark. This yeah. is going to be great. <laughs> Take two, they're small. True. Oh, three. Yeah, that's yeah. what I meant, but... Yeah, I'll... You know, sure, why not? I'll I'll buy a fourth. I don't think Ensign Moore wants to grow a giant Tellerite beard all of a sudden. Okay, that's the three successes you need. Anyone want to roll? F or actually, that's more successes than you need. Uh, who wants to roll the shuttle? Captain, you do it. Captain, cool. It's what? Uh, um, structure what? Uh, sensors engineering. It was what engineering? Uh, engineering. Sensors engineering, sorry. Sen sen <clears throat> oh, se uh, well, se sensors engineering. Let's see how she roll. We're getting there. No problem. Okay, there's another. So uh, you get two momentum from that. And all of you dematerialize. And because the runabout only has two pads, uh, you're materialized in order of rank. So Reinhardt and Ferliza come off first. You step off the pad. Moore and Dresden are second. And then finally Specialist Zach. All right. I'm going straight to the transporter, and I want to see if I can try to find the harem. Okay. Uh, sorry, what were you saying, Moose? Primrose, go as close as you can to that opening. Lower us in as much as you can as well. The closer we are, hopefully it gives us a chance to get them out. All right. On it. Okay. So, this this is going to be fun. So, let's go to the hole. Let's get these pesky tokens out of the way, and let's put the not so pesky token on. Doctor Moore, Eliza, grab a rifle. Okay. 
on it. Uh-huh, where is the roundabout? There it is. Okay. Uh, can uh, Primrose please roll me a control plus con? The, the shuttle will assist with engines plus con. Okay. And however many successes you get determines how far or how easy the next te couple tests will be. Okay. <clears throat> that is a really cool looking picture right now on cool. stream. I know, isn't it? Um, <laughs> uh, I'll take a momentum for a third die so okay. we can. Because essentially, from what you're telling me, is this basically a difficulty zero task? Yes, basically, just with no momentum, just advantages. Afterwards. Got it. All right. It's probably not supported by the rules, but, well, occasionally, you know, I am the yeah. rules. Yeah. Nice. Let's that go. Is uh, four successes. successes. Uh, who wants to roll the uh, runabout? Captain. Captain had a good roll. Captain. Okay, uh, Mr. Zach, hey. if you could please roll me a uh, engines plus con, please. We're getting there. I was all ready for my transport herbal. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Engines. Lost con. I was worried for a second that they're all merged into one bean and we'd have to two vex them. I was tempted, but I didn't want to make this a two parter. <laughs> okay, so that is a grand total of six successes. Uh, so, Ooh. through a um, mixture of fantastic flying and just phenomenal uh, luck, really, uh, you make your way back. Be below the floor that you guys were on before and are able to just scrape the ceiling of the lower floor where oh this God. is distinctly more borgish than what was that than what was previous uh, everything has been fully assimilated everything is a funky shade of green <clears throat> there is well probably black really um the green aspect didn't show up until first contact borg and we've already established these aren't first contact borg but anyways you know what i mean and your life signs because you got so many bloody successes uh indicate the two harem one of them is already out um that would be uh uba uba has already been knocked unconscious apparently where Moriv is busy slashing at the encroaching horde with his sword. Uh, you are able to de detect roughly 15... Uh, no, actually we're at activation 3, that would be 30 Borg life signs. Alright, beam them out. Okay. Okay. Uh, you've uh, made... What are we at momentum wise? Uh, two. And because you got Even six, after all that? Uh, I will give you, I will give you uh, one momentum for cool. basically going past five. Yeah. Uh, so because of your proximity to them, and uh, all of uh, for all of the awesomeness that Primrose has done, this is just going to be a straight difficulty two test. Uh, control engineering, and the sh the ship will assist with sensors engineering. I'm taking all three. All right. Go for it. Yeah. Can and I I'm going to use well? you, sir. Sure, uh, okay. Only one can assist. Sorry. Okay. I'll let the ship assist then because I'll have a token. All right. Uh, I would not allow jury rigging for this, I'm afraid. Oh, Zach. okay. Sorry. Jury rigging <laughs> doesn't work for. Now, if these, you know, were not oh, wow. actually working transporters, but good lord. Okay. I mean, uh, that's still four successes. Yeah. <laughs> that's four successes. So two momentum. Two momentum. And to harem so primrose you're down here i have to get out or unless you want to you know do other things while you're down here that's up to you at yeah, the moment i see them transport and finalize the transportation aboard the shuttle like, primrose goes out of here now and i am pressing buttons and such okay or uh, use that last momentum to create an advantage and get the hell out. 
Meanwhile, also dropping every micro torpedo we have. Okay. Uh, so can Primrose, if you can please roll yes. me a control plus con. Uh, the shuttle okay. can assist with engines plus con. And because that you've already done the legwork to get down here, it's only going to be a difficulty two test to get out. Uh, would you say that this task requires precise m maneuvering or a collision risk? Significantly, yes. Then that becomes a difficulty one because of my precision maneuvering talent. Okay. He said it was daring con uh, or control, control con. con. Control con, got it. And if someone else who wants to man the weapons wants to roll a uh, control security just to see, you know, leave them a goodbye present. <laughs> I can roll control security. Go for it. I, I think I have the highest security. <laughs> Difficulty two for that. And who's got the shuttle? The shuttle. What are we doing with the shuttle? Uh, shuttle. Engines. Uh, engines con for the first roll. And then weapons security for the second. <clears throat> Just a one for me. Yeah. First ship. Okay, so you get one momentum for the helm task. And if you can roll weapon security, please. Okay. I mean, it's impossible to miss anything down here. Um, so you do some, you do a decent amount of damage. You just avoid any of the critical systems. That's okay. Yeah, because uh, I'm assuming comms are back up, right? Yes, they are. Yeah, good. And, and this is the. Oh, I forgot how to pronounce the name again. The Emirates. The Ul Ulke. Yeah, you Ulke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ulke. All right. Yeah. So the Ulke ships in orbit. Target these coordinates and bombard. We have active Borg. We are awa we await the status of Princess Sakina. What is her status? I just wave my hand for her to speak. And she does. This is Princess Sakina. Count to five and then blow this place to s blow this place back to the dust in the ancient sands. But Princess, there's still people on the surface. Do it. Wait, there's people on the surface? Yeah, there's still a support Wait. team for the princess. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh shit! What? Can we try and beam? <laughs> I can try to make a quick roll. We have a count of five. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Son of a bitch. Princess! Oh, fine. Give them one minute to evacuate, then fire. Yes, princess. At which point she sends an all an emergency evacuation notice to the uh, support team that was on the surface. Could we get confirmation on life signs? As you... Make uh... sure. <laughs> Make sure everyone's safe. <laughs> uh, let's I'll tell you what. Let's roll. 1D. 100. If it is below 25, then there will be casualties. If it is above... Set... If it is above twenty five if it's twenty six and above, then everyone escapes. Well Oh good. We're not leaving the up. planet. <laughs> We're gonna try and get them. Okay. I'm using three momentum. Uh so as you guys uh crest the surface of the hole, it appears that the instructions weren't received quite in time. Uh as the shuttle, or is the uh, ship in orbit. Let me get its token, just for thematicness. Wow, that's a good roll there, Max. Right? As it descends into the upper atmosphere, <clears throat> and it begins to rain down fire. Uh, several of the people have, or several of the Ulke have already made it to the ships and are lifting off. However, you are detecting another five individuals who have not made it to the surf, who have not made it to the shuttle, and are in the unfortunate position. Well, of, we're beaming. Yeah. 
RP main. I'm not getting to that. I'm getting to that. I'm setting the scene, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> we just don't want bits. We don't want right. bits. We want holes. I know. Uh, we, we thought we were the only ones there. <laughs> they, who are in the unfortunate position of being in front of uh, walking fire. However, in a good Starfleet, or in good uh, cinematic timing, just as the uh, explosions make, or the wave of explosions make their way to them, they are materialized and picked up in your shutter, in your shuttle's buffer. We'll, we'll slowly cycle them out. Yeah. As they do so, they quickly bow to uh, Princess Sakina and thank her for saving them. She says, "It is not me. It is those. It is the Ifrit of my circle. Please bow to them." It not, no, not need it. It's just what we do. Take it in. They bow Thank anyways. Heck yeah. <laughs> okay, let's let's send a message to the Concordia. We might need to ready a tricobalt device for this too. Ah, <laughs> uh, so just because I think it's fun, our closing scene will be on the bridge of the USS Concordia, which is up here, where uh, Captain. Let's get some tokens brought up to date here. Commander Hadrix and Captain Bashir. It has been an both very fascinating, but also very dull as a diplomacy go. Uh, the Ulkir, or the Ulke, uh, do like to be very flamboyant. Um, lots of gold, lots of very warm temperatures. Lots of long, boring speeches all about the importance of a complete circle and how one must expand their circle to include others. And yada, yada, yada. So Hendrix had a great time socializing. I was bored as hell. <laughs> Basically, yeah. You're, you're more interested in an occasional, uh, you know, duel with their honor guards. Just for fun, you know. Um, all, all of a sudden... You guys are uh, Lieutenant Nukes. Nix uh, pipes up, uh, Captain. I apologize for interrupting you during your uh, meeting preparations, but we are receiving a hail from the runabout and from Moose. On screen. And on screen is Moose, uh, with a very large, very cramped cockpit behind him. Lots of people, many of which you don't recognize. A lot of them are Ulkir. Ul uh, Ulke. Lieutenant Commander? Gavin? How are you now? Okay. What's going on? Well, I just wanted to give you a report. It was a nice mission, nice balmy hot weather. Found some nice fun ruins, encountered some old Borg and new Borg, and blew up half of that planet. How's your day? Good day. Did you get any samples? Uh, I believe Zach's got a couple of samples in his neck. Excuse me? As I said, we encountered Borg. Active. Well, they were, I think. I'd we'll recommend be there to... We'll be there to pick you up as soon as possible. Uh, I'd have Lieutenant Lagos prepare a tricobalt device. Okay. Make. As I said, active Borg. I think, that bears a, I think that bears a little more investigation before we explode them, but uh, what uh, are Borg doing down? They were... Well, they attempted to assimilate. Yeah, that's a word. Assimilate Zax. Uh, they were trying to repair their old technology. They weren't... Um, Separate Tis from the collective. Mode. They were the uh, the old Borg. You know, the assimilate. Borg. Yeah, the ones where assimilate this and assimilate that. That sounds like all Borg. Your Highness, oh. are you all right? I'm fine, thanks to the Ifrit. However, before you talk about what you will do to my world, you have not asked my permission. And as the owner of this world, I have seen the danger of what it is. I will not allow you to 
it was your Starfleet's actions who reactivated these, Borg. And I will not stand by while you continue to poke this with a proverbial stick. As we speak, my cruiser is already bombarding it with its weapons, and we will be preparing uh, destructive charges of our own. If you want to, you can pick through what, are, what is left. As you wish, your majesty. Your word is law here, and if we, we will not interfere with your planet any farther. We will take our crew and move along. Yes, your efreet have been middling, effective, mostly competent, I must say, uh, when it comes to a pinch. When it comes in a pinch. But my circle is stronger without them. Once they deposit me on my ship, expect them to return. Good day. And she immediately turns her back and goes back to sit at the console where she was at. Lieutenant Commander, follow her orders and bring back anything you can have on you. It'll be a great privilege to deposit her. <laughs> uh... And on that note, All I right, believe that Bashir is a, out. <laughs> I believe that is a good place to call it a night. <laughs> so, thank you all for playing. Thank you all for surviving. Um, thank you all for watching. Uh, as a reminder, we will not be here next week. We will be back on Friday the 16th. So, uh, until next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. And we are...